So, welcome back. More Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix HD Remix MC Hammer on the Microphone Remix Style. Where we last left off, we. What the hell did we do? We, um. Whatchamacallit? We beat the. What, what the fuck is it called? Reverse Armor, I think? Basically, we sealed the keyhole in Traverse Town. That's what we did. It's been like a good week. <laughs> been like a good week since I played this. And of course, between streams, I grinded a little bit. Not too much. A little bit. I wanted to get to level 40, but because of the area we're at in the game, couldn't really do it. Right? Just the experience was not sufficient enough. So, I think I got up by... 33 shouldn't it? am I bugging out right now did I have a save file where I was like 34 or something I could have sworn I was 34 what the hell happened let me see no nope, 33 huh I think I was trying to get to 34 and then I looked at the experience and I was like yeah no fucking way we're doing that no way I'm grinding that much so yeah that's where we last left off uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything I forgot. Oh, yeah. So once you beat, um, once you beat Twilight Town for the second time, there's not going to be any Heartless running around until you leave Twilight Town and come back. And in doing so, you'll start seeing your first glimpse of what are called the... The Secret Heartless? The Rare Heartless? Some bullshit? I forgot what they're called. The Special Heartless or something? It's not these guys. But they appear in certain areas in the world. Each world has their own variant on this, and you will need to hunt them down later on if you want to synthesize the ultimate weapon. Why they added this in Final Mix, I honestly don't know. In the original Kingdom Hearts 1, you did not have to do all this shit. Why the fuck do you guys... Stop. Stop coming back. I'm trying to show off the special Heartless, okay? But yeah. Why these motherfuckers changed this... How, how this shit worked in the game? I don't know, man. I really don't. I wish I do. Motherfuckers just always trying to make things difficult. Uh, I don't see the Heartless around here. It's supposed to be like a little purple monkey that runs around. Maybe I gotta like slay some Heartless for a bit or something. Or like just really leave. Come back or some bullshit. But I did it and I killed it twice. And I got, a, I got two of the synthesis items from it. I think it's the Power Stone that you get from it. I think it's called the Sniper Wild. I'm not sure. Also, if my voice sounds weird at the beginning of the session, it's mainly because I've been up all day, a little tired, so I popped a coffee candy in my mouth to keep me alive for at least an hour for this stream. At least one hour. I might pop another candy. Who knows? Oh, there he is! Or she, or it, or they. Whatever it identifies with, I don't care. Um, yeah, so this one is one of the one of the more annoying ones. Not the most annoying one, in my opinion, but one of the more annoying ones. And basically, what you need to do is you need to kill it stealthily. And then when you do that, it will multiply by two. Kill those two stealthily. Then when three show up, kill those three so, uh, stealthily and not get caught by any one of them. And then you'll have a chance of it dropping the uh, synthesized item you need. So, for example, little guy over here, gone, right? Then these two show up. If you get spotted, you get a little bit of leeway to kill them, to kill the one that spot you before the other one spots you, but if you wait too long, then it's gonna summon a bunch of its friends and they're just gonna keep going and going and going, right? Now, a little trick to help you out here because this thing is annoying as hell, but it also has it has like an iffy range of sight or whatever the fuck. Sometimes it can see you from halfway across the screen, other times, oh, and it jumps the fuck around too. So you gotta like really time it. But if you're having a hard time, uh, and they won't separate, make sure you have enough magic and just fire. shoot that bitch with fire. Or whoever's the closest one. This motherfucker ran up to me for some reason. But when you shoot it with fire, make sure that you can 
really get it. Because once it realizes that you're there, you're going to take it out pretty fast. Alright? And you get three of them. Now its line of sight is more active, well more active, it's more uh, prominent I guess, I don't, I don't fucking know what the word I'm looking for, more efficient when it's like looking around and its eyes are glowing. So the time you really want to go in is when it's just jumping around and it's separated from its buddies. And since we just have this one left, uh, once we kill it we'll have a chance to uh, get, did it see me or not, I can't tell if it saw me or not. Motherfucker's jumping all over the place. This one has a chance to drop the stone or not. And we got it! Power stone. So now I got three of them. I don't know how much you need for a uh, ultimate weapon, but I think you might need like four of them. But I got three, so, you know, I'll get them off screen because I'm not gonna make you guys sit through that when the time comes. I honestly do not need to fight these heartless, and you can tell that because I'm one shotting them. I shouldn't be one-shotting them. Not now, anyways. That means that I grinded a little too much. Right? But, you know, it's proud mode. You can never be too prepared. That, and I don't want the playthrough to get stuck. At a place where it doesn't need to be stuck. Alright. So let me just run back in the shop. Hit this for a quick second. Get my shit back. Honestly, I didn't need to do that. I could just leave the world. I don't know why I did that. Oh, also off screen. I'm not sure if I did it on screen, but off screen, I went and got Donald and Goofy uh, some weapons. I think I did it on screen, but whatever. Here's the item shop. This is where you'll get most of Donald and Goofy's weapons throughout the game. Most of them, not all of them. And this is not where you get the best ones. Uh, you talk to Huey here. I think the red one's Huey. What's one? Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Huey's red, Dewey's green, Louie's blue? I think. I think that's how it goes. Yeah, but you talk to them, you know, and you, uh, buy whatever the hell you buy for them. The way I like to do it is prioritize Donald with magic, right? He has a, he has a staff that gives him more attack power and reduces his magic by one. But, I mean, he, he's a fucking mage, so why would you do that? He's kind of useless when he's out of magic, so that sucks. And then Goofy has one where he has large shields that will give him more defense and small shields that will give him more attack. I recommend giving him more attack because, I mean, again, if your teammates die in battle, it doesn't matter. All that matters is if Sora dies. So, who gives a fuck what their defense is? They're gonna die either way. Just make sure they get in some hits before they die. Uh, another thing I just want to point out before we leave Traverse Town, because I did do some things off screen that I didn't really mean to do. It was kind of like second nature. I was running on auto, uh, autopilot. Over here in this corner, there's a blue Trinity mark. I fucking hit that shit by accident because I wasn't thinking. And I was like, well, I already grinded a couple levels, so I'm not gonna undo it, right? So there's a blue Trinity over there. You can grab that with Donald and Goofy right now if you so please. And then that's mostly it. The last thing I just wanna say is when you go out, you'll get a message from Chippendale that says that there's a new, uh, that there's a new, um, challenge at the Coliseum to take if you so choose to do so. We're not gonna do that right now, because that's gonna take a long time to do, so. Once you're ready, collect your shit, get yourself straight, and then we're gonna head for this wormhole. Oh shit, damn it. I forgot which wormhole it is that you should go through first, because there is a, there is a, uh, hmm, there is a weird thing when it comes to the gummy shit missions, especially, uh, later down the road, where uh, a certain, a certain dickhead whale will get in your way from completing a gummy mission if you choose to do it, and depending on where that motherfucker spawns, I think depends on which wormhole you go out of. And I really hope I chose the right one, because if I didn't, then we're fucked. Might be fucked. I don't know. I'm, I'm still debating whether I'll do the gummy shit missions or not. I mean, does it really count for 100%? Like, really? 
the gummy ship missions, man. Nobody cares about it. You don't really get anything worthwhile for it. Just like bragging rights. And I've done them before. I've done them before. That, that's a sure bet. And I hate it each and every one of them. Fun fact, I platinum Kingdom Hearts 1. Not only once, but twice. Same thing with Kingdom Hearts 2. I didn't just platinum it once. I platinumed it twice. On two different accounts. Looks suspicious. Maybe at least to another world. Oh fuck. Make sure you go into that wormhole. For the most part, this is the only wormhole that you really need to worry about. That or the orange one if you went towards that way. The opposite way. Right? Make sure you kill all these heartless. Grab them. And grab as many little trinkets as you can when you kill them. Those are gummy shit parts. And I think the little blue circles with scraggly marks on them, I think those are blueprints for the ships that you kill. Whatever ship drops it, I think that's the blueprint for it. I'm not sure. I don't really pay too much to the gummy ship stuff. If I don't have to, anyways. Right? Unless it's Kingdom Hearts 2, though. I mean, let, let's be honest. Kingdom Hearts 2... Oh, shit. Let me be careful, because I can actually die in this gummy ship. I mean, let's be honest. Kingdom Hearts 2 has the best gummy ship out of all the games. Kingdom Hearts 2 is just the best. Out of all the Kingdom Hearts games. Kingdom Hearts 2 is just the best. No disputing it. Some people think it's birth by sleep. I think those people are fucking insane. I think they need to go to their therapist and tell them how Kingdom Hearts 3 hurt them. And they just won't admit it. They need to, like, sit in the shower for a little bit and just think how they got royally fucked over by Kingdom Hearts 3. Right? <laughs> was that joke a little too dark? Maybe it was. Maybe. Ah, it's Agrabah. The Arabian Nights. Out Arabian Nights. Like Arabian Day. I always like the intro of that with a peddler, he's like singing and shit. You know what, I forgot to see if my mic was even on. Oh, it is, okay, cool. <laughs> if it wasn't, I was gonna be really upset. So that just leaves... The keyhole. Jafar! He's now Jafar. Jaclose. I've looked everywhere for Jasmine! She Jafar! I looked everywhere for Jasmine! Oh, Gilford Godfrey. I'm still surprised you that Disney even let you fucking in the movie, control. dude. That guy. Agrabah that guy got a mouth on him. For rats to hide in. Street rats. But why worry about Princess Jasmine? Princess Jasmine. It's with so her, fun to talk like Jafar. Her. Surely this world will be ours when we find the keyhole. Speaking about Jafar, they should have gave that motherfucker more music, we need all more songs. Of you have like the one song he does in Kingdom Hearts 1, right? And it's like two seconds long. Well, and then you have a uh, uh, second rate her. from like direct DVD movie uh, Aladdin 2, The Return of Jafar. And that, I mean, that song's only good, really, because Jafar's, Jafar's singing it, right? The lyrics itself is kind of eh, whatever. It's, it's nothing near like a friend like me, right? Necessary. I'm Jafar. I like to touch myself. So we're all in agreement that, like, the- Oh, shit! I just got here and motherfuckers told me I came to the wrong neighborhood. Are you serious? I didn't even get to, like, take one step in Agrabah. They're already trying to fucking steal my shit. They're trying to mug me out here. Go ahead, kill it. Oh my god, it took you guys forever to kill that one heartless. Hey, what the fuck, Donald and Goofy? Yeah, but we can all agree that, uh, the whole, the whole, <laughs> Jafar's whole 
antagonistic goal of of Aladdin one. He just wants to get his dick wet, really. Like that that that's just what it is, right? Like I know he wants to be the Sultan and be all powerful, but that I don't think that came until after. <laughs> He's like Princess Jasmine. I'm gonna be all creepy about it now. Like Jesus. All right. Oh, when I was leveling up, I also unlocked guard. Uh, I'm not gonna use it yet, anyways. I don't think I need it. Uh, Donald and Goofy probably got some bullies. I'm not even sure. Oh yeah, yeah. Goofy got evolution the second one, which I'm not gonna use right now. I'm more worried about Lucky Strike. I want to get as much synthesis items as I can. In terms of equipment, this is what I got on people, just in case you guys were wondering. All right. Um, I think that's it, right? I'm gonna switch my customization stuff back. I don't need fire. I'm putting arrow back on, and I'm gonna keep Blizzard. I'm keep Blizzard. Come on, break the barrel. There you go. Good job, Sora. Mega Potion. Awesome. I'm not gonna save it. I don't need to save it yet. Not yet, anyway. I feel confident in my abilities. Alright. So, Agrabah. It's not the worst place. A little convoluted in the beginning, but you'll get over it, right? You're gonna walk through here, and you're gonna get mugged. Dude just like tapped me in the back of my head with his sword. Ow! Come on! Boom! Get the alleyway! I'm Jasmine. My father's the Sultan of Agraba. Well, la di fucking da. Uh, so that ma- Gorsh, so that makes you like a princess. <laughs> but he's been disposed by Jafar. That's why we never see him in any of the Kingdom Hearts games. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I just realized. Agraba's not in fucking Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh my God! Agrabo was like one of the world, one of the worlds that have been in like almost every Kingdom Hearts game. Same thing with Hercules. But for some reason, Kingdom Hearts three, no Agrabo. Nah, man. Nah, we don't want to do. We don't. They did the Return of Jafar, but no, we don't want to do fucking uh, Aladdin and the King of Thieves. Nah, -uh, no. That's get that bitch shit out of here. They better do that in Kingdom Hearts four. Come on, man. Maybe that's why Tetsuya Nomura was saving it. I, I like to believe that Tetsuya Nomura has a little bit of sanity inside of him. Just a little bit, you know? Even though he's trying to make Versus 13 over and over and over and over again, and he won't fucking stop. It's part of the Crystal storyline. Final Fantasy 13. The Crystallum fucking whatever storyline. I don't know, fucking that man's crazy. Jafar. You've heard of him? He's the Royal Vizier. He gained evil powers and seized Agrabah. He's definitely looking for something, something he calls the Keyhole. Jafar caught me trying to escape, but he helped me. Who helped you? We were hiding nearby, but that doesn't that doesn't answer my fucking question, Jasmine. <laughs> Who helped you? Uh, never mind. You never knew. Never you mind. We were hiding nearby, but he left a while ago to take care of something. Oh, I hope a lot. Thank you. Thank you. I love how she didn't directly answer my question. She like thought about it and she's like, oh, Aladdin. And it's like, thank you for saying the name. Aladdin. Aladdin. Where might I find this street rat? Think Tarzan World was the least favorite area in Kingdom Hearts? Jasmine. Yeah, I talked about that in the, uh, you know, the last session when we got to Tarzan. I, I honestly think Alice in Wonderland and Tarzan are like, I don't hate them. Jasmine, but run. I think for introductory levels for a video game, especially ah, the first one of the series, they're not the good. The especially game. Alice in Wonder Wonderland. Let's make it as confusing as we possibly can for children who are going to play this. Because they see Donald and Goofy on the cover, right? 
Come on, Sora. Get them hits in there, buddy. Stop missing. Why are you missing all over the place? You're swinging and weapon. All right, so once Jafar shows up, right, a bunch of pathways are gonna gonna get blocked and shit. Now you gotta do this. I have no idea what you're saying to me, Donald. Now you gotta go this fucking arbitrary ass way to like get anywhere. Boom. Just get done with Kingdom Hearts 1. The faster you play this game, the quicker you can get to Kingdom Hearts 2. And then you won't have to worry about anything. And then it's downhill from there! Okay, maybe not completely downhill. Dream Drop Citizens had a stupid story, but I still think the game is fun, right? Birth by Sleep's alright. It's kind of limited because, you know, PSP and shit, but... Yeah. But whatever. You wanna know what I don't wanna play? Recoded. <laughs> Recoded. Let's retell the story of Kingdom Hearts 1 with a bunch of bullshit minigames. Let's do that. That's fun. Mega Ether. Yay. Alright. I'm trying to remember. Do I go get Aladdin first? I think I do. I think I go and get Aladdin first. Right? No, no, I don't. I go up here. Come on, so I use them legs. Surprised you're not a fucking basketball player yet. I mean, you are short, so it wouldn't really work out. Riku should be a basketball player. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, Kingdom Hearts 2, he got the drip for it, right? Imagine that boy playing basketball. Jesus. The carpet flew off towards the desert. Let's follow it, Sora. Oh no, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna not follow it. I mean, that's a strange thing for... That's a strange thing for Donald to say, right? The carpet just fucking flew off, man. We should follow it. I bet I don't walk into a desert without any drinking water and possibly die. <laughs> How about not, Donald? Only played all the games in the PS4 collection, but you enjoyed all of them except uh, Chain of Memories. Never want to replay that one. Chain of Memories is not as bad as people think it is. It's definitely not my favorite. I definitely wouldn't put it in like top five or anything, but I'd rather play Chain of Memories over Recoded, over 358 Days, and over fucking, um, whatchamacallit. What's the other one that I can't think of right now? Over any of the fucking mobile games, let's be honest. Come on, man. Uh... Yeah, the reason why, um... Uh, Chain of Memories isn't that bad, because it start. There's a reason why it's bad, and there's a reason why it's not bad. The card system, although not the best, is still not as hard as people think it is. It's actually pretty goddamn easy. Um, and the card system was there because, you know, the game was originally for the Game Boy, and then they remade it for the PlayStation. And I think the PlayStation version is when they added the whole Riku playthrough side of it, right? Oh no, Aladdin, you're sinking. We gotta, we gotta help you, buddy. We gotta do that. But yeah, uh, that game is easily trivialized because once you obtain the ability to do a move called Lethal Frame, you just win the game. That's just it. You you don't need to do anything else besides that, and have like maybe a couple of defensive cards. I still got a platinum in that game, by the way. <laughs> I want to say that game might be one of the most annoying to platinum, because a you gotta collect all the cards, b you gotta do the stupid mini game shit, and c you gotta play each story mode on every difficulty. So that means you gotta play Sora three times on three different difficulties and Riku three times on three different difficulties. It's really goddamn dumb. Sometimes I feel like Tetsuya Nomura doesn't play his own games. But I appreciate Recoded, though. I do. I mean, we get to see our boy Jimmy, Axel, right? Come on, man. Axel. And our girl Lark scene. Wish number one coming right Everybody up. shut up. Robert Williams is on screen right now. You shut your mouth. I see. <laughs> Thanks, Sora. Aladdin, what are you doing out here? 
Same old stuff. Hunting legendary treasure. Since when, Aladdin? You're a fucking. <laughs> you're a bandit, dog. I found that magic carpet. You know, the and thing I've always done. Look for treasures. Why are you lying, the Aladdin? Holds the lamp? Like I just met you and I know you're a lying. Leave the intros to a professional. Also, why you don't got nipples, Aladdin? What happened? Why are you a freak of nature? Patience, my fine feathered friend. Any three wishes. Oh, one wish, a two wish, a three wish. Then I make like a banana and steal it. Our lucky winner made his first wish. And let me tell you what a doozy that wish was. So he has two left. So, master, what do you have for wish number two? I don't want to talk over Genie too much. Because it's Robert William. <laughs> right? Royalty, fame. Why didn't I do that? Okay, you asked for it. A hundred servants and a hundred camels loaded with gold. Just say the word and I'll deliver it in thirty minutes or less, or your meal free. Hey, I'll even throw in a cappuccino. <laughs> no thanks. Okay. I think I'll put that on hold until we reach Agrabah. Oh, why a prince? You see, there's this. You see, I'm trying to get my Jasmine. dick wet. <laughs> but she's a princess. And, and I, I need money for that. Never fall for a guy like me. Yeah, that's what you like? Money? Princess? Jasmine? Oh, that's right. She's in trouble, Aladdin. What? Well, come on, let's get going. Sora said with as straightest face as possible. All right. Aladdin, join the team. Donald, get the fuck out of here. Actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We don't need Donald. We're fine. Oh, fresh air, the great outdoors. I guess you don't get out much, huh? Comes with a job. Phenomenal cosmic powers, itty bitty living space. It's always three wishes, then back to my portable prison. I'm lucky to see the light of day every century or two. Say, Genie, what if I use my last wish to free you from the lamp? What do you think? You do that? Genie, it's a promise. After we help How do genies get in the lamp originally? How does that work? Are you like born a genie and you're just popped in that baby? You know? How does that work? Does God create you and just goes now into the bottle, bitch? <laughs> Cause, you know, you have Jafar in the movie, right? He wishes to become an all-powerful genie. And that's how he becomes one, but it's like, but how did genie become a genie though, you know? Like, how, how did that work? He don't seem like the type of guy to wish for power. He has a shit ton of it. He don't seem happy about it. Maybe, maybe he already... And it's fun with the power. Eons ago, he waged wars. Terrorized villages. Welcome to my film theory video, where I talk about how evil Genie is. Secretly evil. He's the puppet master. He's controlling Aladdin and Jasmine. It was all planned from the start. It's like every creepypasta, right? It's like, what if, what if Disney but evil? What if everyday item, but bad? <laughs> what if video game, but haunted? I want someone to write a creepypasta about how their car turned on by itself, but their keys were still inside the house. It'd be the best creepypasta ever. Damn, Aladdin. Why you gotta cut him like that? That should have been her. Oh, that reminds me. Fuck. I forgot. 
Alida, I know you weren't born with anything, but uh, you really about to be broke broke, you know what I mean, buddy? So just give me that. You don't deserve it. You don't. You don't need that. What bills you got? Jackpot, Critical Plus, Treasure Magnet. Um, Get that Critical Plus in there. Oh, whoa. What happened? What'd I do? There we go. I went to first person mode real quick. Why does Kingdom Hearts have a first person mode? It's weird. You never really use it. You never really have a need to use it. Like, I would understand if Kingdom Hearts, you know, if Kingdom Hearts 1 came out, like, during the PS4 era, where everyone's taking screenshots and shit, and it's like, first person mode, yeah, sure, help with that. But, like, on the PS2 and shit? Why does it got a first person mode? You don't need that. Unnecessary. So Jafar is after Jasmine in this keyhole. Keyhole, eh? I could have sworn I heard about that somewhere before. Really? Where? None of your damn business. Now where was it? It's been about like 200 years. Well anyways, we gotta stop Jafar before it's too late. As Sonic would say, that's no good. For some reason you need to come up here and reconvene with the group and talk about the game plan even though you all clearly stated that you need to go rescue Jasmine. And then that activates the uh that the base of shit you gotta do to go get Jasmine. So over here, jump over here. Ooh. Ow. I really hate how in Kingdom Hearts when you can't interact with any of the stuff in the environment until you beat all the enemies. I wish I had like a sliding dash or something. But we're not gonna get that until later. Because I chose the path of the mystic. I really hope Leaf Bracer is connected to that. Better be. If not, I'm gonna be very upset. Fire ring! I have no need for that because I have like four fire rings. Um, wait, where the fuck did I? What did I just unlock? I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> Again, running on auto autopilot out here. That's what I do. Come back out here. I think it's up here. Yeah, I think it's up there. Yeah, there it is. That's what I... Oh, ah, shit. I hate that. When Sora just walks off the edge, even though you press the goddamn jump button. Him and his fucking moon shoes. Stop right there, Jafar. You're about to become... Jaclose. <laughs> Setting your sights. A little high, aren't you, boy? Back to your hole, street rat. I will street not allow rat. you to trouble the princess anymore. <gasps> Jasmine! I'm so sorry, Aladdin. Genie, help Jasmine, please. Rubbing one out there, Al? One wish left. You're making this really easy, you know. <laughs> so sorry, boy. I'm afraid your second wish has been denied. So how does a pickpocket get pickpocketed by a parrot? How'd that work? I'm sorry, Al. Ain't he supposed to be like a master thief? And now, I bid you all farewell. Attack! Alright. This is the pot centipede. And guess what? I know a lot of people that had a lot of problems with this when they were when they first played this game. 
because this motherfucker just gets you in a corner and he just, leave me alone. <laughs> oh my god. Where are you going, Aladdin? What are you doing? The enemy's all the fuck the way over there. You're swinging at nothing. So pots and feed, right? It's gonna grab a bunch. It, it's just I don't even know how to explain this motherfucker. It's gonna grab a bunch of pots, build its body up, you destroy it, right? And you want to separate these two bad boys from each other. I recommend going for the bottom half first because it can poison you. Oh my god, they both died. I think I might have grinded too much. <laughs> Ray of light. Jasmine. I didn't even get to fucking explain the damn thing. To the desert. Come on, let's move. I may have grinded too much. Maybe. Just a little bit. What level am I supposed to be right now? If I'm ten levels higher than what the hell I'm supposed to be, I, I think we got a problem. Or I got a problem at least, right? Motherfucker. You should have sat down, Pot. You should have just sat down. Nobody told you to wake up. You just sat down, nothing bad would happen to you. Ow! Do I not get any, like, tech points for using the blizzard on this guy? Really? I would assume so. You know, Mr. Fire Elemental out here? There we go. Oh wait, maybe I should say it before doing this. Eh, no, it'll be fine, right? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. It'll be fine. we will be fine. I bet you never thought you'd be fighting the fucking lion head from the Cave of Wonders. <laughs> it's an enemy? Yeah, it's an enemy. The tiger head has been controlled by the heartless. Crush the power of darkness. I love how they just gave you a text blurb and they're like, here's the explanation. Now go fight it. Because they couldn't make a cutscene to explain this shit. So, when this guy's not moving... When he's not bopping his head around, you kind of want to, you know, get up there and, and poke him in the eye. Other than that, it's going to be shooting laser beams out of its eyes. Oh, when it comes down here, you might want to, you know, get some of that goodage in there. It'll also be spitting out Heartless to take care of you. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I may have overpowered myself. Uh-oh. Oh, damn. Damn. I am melting this man. Oh, come on. Get up there, Sora. Damn it! Come on, come down here. I don't feel like climbing up, climbing up there. Not right now, anyways. <laughs> I love how Aladdin's just getting smacked up. I'm about to get smacked up. Ow! I recommend never standing in front of the lion. Motherfucker, I think he can, like, breathe fire or some shit. You just ruin your day. Can you, can you, like, put your head down now, please? I really don't want to climb up there. Oh, my fucking god. You're really dragging this, Mr. Lionhead. Eh. You just don't want to put your head down, do you? You just really... Really just being a dickhead about it. I'm gonna have to manually climb up there. Because this motherfucker don't want to put his head down. That's okay, though. Oh my god. Alright. Okay. Maybe if I stand in front of him, it'll like tempt him, right? Don't you want to put your head down? Come on. Give me a nice little headbutt. Fucking god. 
There you go. I don't know what the fucking took you so long. God damn it. Come on, Sora, hit the eye. Hit the eye. Sora, hit the eye. Sora, hit the eye. Fucking god. There you go. We did it. I'm the motherfucking diamond in the rough, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're in the Cave of Wonders now. And here in the Cave of Wonders, what you want to do is not die. You want to just go on right ahead and jump to your death. All right, let's do some shit. Make sure you have Aladdin with you because you need Aladdin for this. No one else can do this but Aladdin. Because you got to call a boo. See, a boo only listens to Aladdin. Because a boo's an asshole. Meteor G. I'm going to run over here, actually. Were there a... Oh, there was a chest over there. Can I make that jump? Get up, get up the steps. Ah, no, I'm not making that. Thunder Ring. Up we go. Speaking about up we go, how fucking strong you gotta be to swim up a swim up a goddamn waterfall? Go, Abu. Protector chain. Who needs one? Anyone but Aladdin. Mmm. Ray of light. Uh, Goofy. How you holding up, buddy? Put his defense down by one. Eh, you're fine. You're fine, Goofy. You don't. You don't really need to update your shit. I mean, we're overpowered anyways. <laughs> And we're gonna stay that way until the post game. Oh, why did I do that? Damn it. Why did I just walk off the edge like that? Oh, I can totally make that jump. Come on. I think this is where one of the torn pages are for Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. There you go. Oh, nope. That's probably the torn page over there. Good job, me. Good job for fucking it up. Jump over here. Make sure you want to come over here with uh, fire and just bow. You need to do that. That's important. That opens up the way to the boss. We're at the boss already. Jesus. <laughs> My first wish, Genie. Show me the keyhole. My first wish, Genie. I want a bunch of big booty bitches. <laughs> All right. I don't think there's any. Oh. If I was up there, then I think this would come down. How the hell do I get up there again? We're getting near there. Have a boo go touch it with his greasy palms. Think I'm going this way? I want to pick up that chest that I missed. I think I need high jump or something to get over there, right? Uh, which way was the chest that I blatantly walked past? I think it's this way, right? Dark chamber? And then we swam up the waterfall. 
I just want that chest because it's going to bother me. Alright, let's not walk off this time. Hey, Torn Page! I was right. Awesome. Replenish my magic. And then you can just feel free to ignore all these motherfuckers. You know, unless you need the- Ow! Alright. Maybe not ignore that one. Unless you need the experience. Also, don't get hit by the water. It will knock you down into the chasm, chasm, however you pronounce it below. The pit. I always hated this fucking jump. Because this jump is so fucking tight. You gotta really stand on the edge. Live life on the edge. Living like Larry. Kids nowadays don't know how to live like Larry. You say that and they go, who the fuck is Larry? And I go, you know what? Part of me is surprised and not surprised that you don't know anything about Larry. Alright. Now once you're ready, Find your little tuchus right into the boss room. That boy again? He is more persistent than I expected. Why not explain the situation to that boy, Riku? Doing so may actually prove useful to our... Wait a second, are you Maleficent? Wow. Jafar, <laughs> Black Jasmine, go! Not even like a single Not word. She just said, uh huh. Who just see, laughed? She's a princess. One of seven who somehow hold the key to opening the door. The door. Open? I love when you can just tell when a voice actor has fun you fools with the role. To see what lies Jafar's fucking living it up. <laughs> Genie, my second wish. Crush them! Genie, no! Sorry, Al. The one with the lamp calls the shots. I don't have a choice. He's also my drug dealer, Al. I have to listen to him, or I won't get my fix. Alright. Boss fight with Jafar. Al, he's gonna shoot laser beams at you. And then you're just gonna have to chase him the fuck down, and that's pretty much what it is. A couple things I recommend here in this fight. You don't have to worry too much about Genie. He's not going to do nothing crazy. He'll just chase you down and like whiff some hits here and there. As long as you keep moving, he's not going to hurt you. As long as you keep moving, period, you should be pretty much fine. Pretty much. Right? And as we just saw, he used Blizzard. Blizzard 2 or Blizzard 3, I forgot what the fuck it's called, but it's some variant of Blizzard. And you should just stay clear of the middle of the room, honestly, because that is Jafar's strongest attack and it will ruin your day. Oh my god, Genie, you are faster than I remember you being. You got here real quick. Now sometimes Jafar will do what he's doing right now, light his staff on fire and then try to, try to give you the two-piece. And you just tell that motherfucker, I'm sorry, we're out of McNuggets. You can't, no. Wow, Jafar, you are almost dead. <laughs> Does Jafar absorb, uh, absorb magic? I think he might. I'm not sure. He might. Over here! I love when he says that. Goofy out there getting laser beamed. Hyper beamed. Boss fight's not that hard. It is fucking annoying though. How about you, how about you come over here? How about how about you just how about you come over here? You know. How about yeah yeah. How about you just good? Okay, great. Attain the power of ice. Blizzard has been upgraded to Blizzara. 
All I know is I want me some ice cream. I'm about to order me a fucking Blizzara. I might, just to get sugar in my system. I'm addicted. Genie, my final wish. I want you to make me an all-powerful genie. Now instead of just grabbing Jasmine and running like the smart thing, we're not gonna do none of that because we're not smart. Yeah! <laughs> the lamp! Get your forest lamp. I don't know why it's not voiced. It should be. So, here's the boss fight. You don't really fight Jafar. You fight Iago with the lamp. And you just beat the shit out the lamp. Jafar will try to throw meteors and shoot laser beams and all this other bullshit. It's kind of like earlier, but as long as you stay clear of him, right? Like this meteor thing, if you hit by it, it might hurt. As Goofy perfectly demonstrated right there. Great job, Goofy. You just... Amazing. Right? Half of the time, you won't worry about Jafar because you're on the other side of the goddamn arena, away from him, trying to get Iago. And if getting Iago is too difficult for you, Iago's fat, little fat fuck flying around, he'll tire himself out, and then just like, you know, sit down for a couple of seconds, as he's doing right now. Also, the more you attack the lamp, the more you, uh, you stun Jafar back there. So, there you go. Like all those noises you heard Jafar saying in the background, that's him getting stunned. Good job, Yago. Great. You did a great job. Okay, Jafar. Back to your lamp. This is proud mode, by the way. I like to I like to just remind people that I just grind it like a bitch. <laughs> Attain the power of fire. Fire has upgraded to Fyra. You also got answer report number one. Damn, Jasmine, you throwing it back. <gasps> Jasmine? Jasmine! <laughs> I love how Aladdin's in the background just looking for Jasmine and the other three just don't care. I always like this animation that they do for the keyhole here. I like that animation. It's nice. Whoa, we better get out of here. Jasmine! Forget Aladdin. She's dead. And now for an awesome action sequence in which you get out of here. And by that, I mean you can barely control this goddamn thing. Press the X button to hit the boulders coming down. That's pretty much it. Ow. Move left and right with the stick. Barely. Because you don't really get to control it that much. Like all these turns that are happening? It's not me. I'm not doing it. It's something that they will do again in Kingdom Hearts 2, and way fucking better, if I may add. Left, right, 
I love how I said I went right when I said left, and I went left when I said right. Cause I don't know my fucking sides. And there you go. Pat yourself on the back. You you did Agraba. It's done. So Jasmine's no longer an Agraba. Sora, let's go find her. Sorry, I can't take you with me. You gotta take a fucking shower first, you fucking Smash player. Why not? Something called soap Latin. Use it. <laughs> I sure wish we could. But we can't. If we take him to another world, we would be muddling. Meddling! Aladdin, we'll find Jasmine, I promise. So, here's the funny thing about this. I want you to remember this part right here. Where Aladdin's like, dog, I'll totally go with you. And they're like, we can't. We can't take Aladdin to another world. Just remember that when we finish uh, another world later on in which we completely take a character from that world and just go on with our merry way. Uh, Earth to Al. Hello, you still have one wish left. Look, just say the word. Ask me to find Jasmine for you. I... I wish for your freedom, Genie. Al! <laughs> I have legs! A deal's a deal, Genie. Now you can go anywhere you want. You're your own master. I'm sorry, Al. But if you can, Genie was great. my slave name. Along with them and help Sora find Jasmine. Hmm. Sorry, Al. I'm done taking orders from others. But. A favor? Now that's entirely different. I guess I could give that a try. After all, we're pals, right, Al? Why'd you say that so suspiciously? Just leave it to me! Way to clip your hand through your hair, Al. Way to just... Ew. <laughs> Make it look nasty. James Woods! I love you! Smarmy Vizier could have had him. If someone had stuck around to give him a hand. Hey, I did my part. I brought the princess, didn't I? Jafar was beyond help, consumed by his own hatred. One should be aware of letting it burn too fiercely. Whoa, 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 what? No. I'm as cool as they come, okay? By the way, kid, have we got something special for you? It's called cocaine. We had a deal, yes. You help us, and we grant you your wish. Curry, go to her. Wow, you go waited a long me. time to react to that, Riku. What the fuck was that? Just remember, this is no pleasure cruise. It won't be a pleasant voyage. Why are you doing all this for me? What's the catch? Catch? What's the catch? Silly boy. You're like a son to me. I only want you to be happy. I seriously doubt that. Believe what you wish. But lest we forget, I kept my end of the bargain. I just want to remind you people, Riku is 15 and he's that fucking swole. Just, just throwing it out there. You learned summon spell the genie. Here, take this with you. Three wishes. And the green trinity, you can now use it. Sora, please go find Jasmine for me. No, no Aladdin, I won't. I'm gonna take this green trinity ability and head back to Travers Town. That's how I roll. Al, you can't come with us, but Genie, you sure can. We can revisit some places and unseal more trinities. Yes, Goofy? Today, Junior. 
Wasn't there a Trinity mark in the accessory shop? Yes, Goofy, that's what I said. Could this torn page be from Merlin's book? Let's return to town and give it to him. I honestly forgot all about the torn page. Oh, warp drive, how I love you. To the accessory shop. All right, pop this bad boy open. Just gonna stand on, on the glass with all the engagement rings and shit, don't mind me. Just walk into someone's store and just start going in the attic. Mithril shard. What the fuck out my way, Goofy? Puppies! Alright. Welcome to the synthesis shop. You do not need to worry about this unless you're going for 100% or if you just want some awesome knickknacks on your adventure. So, here in the, the awesome synthesis shop, talk to these moogles. This one, I think, is the one that synthesizes. First, you have to list, uh, what? listen to the explanation. Oh, you talk to this guy, I guess. Welcome! Use your items to make unusual items, Koopo. Koopo. Let us make something for you, Koopo. Bring back a bunch of items for your travels, Koopo. Thanks for that explanation. I mean, it's pretty simple, but also, I mean, it's pretty much. Let's synthesize! Alright, so you may notice enemies drop awesome little red, yellow chest thingies. Those are synthesis items. You want to pick those bad boys up. Um, sometimes they come in different colors. Just, you know, you just want to pick those little goodies up. And you can use that to make awesome, uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, why can't I remember the name of this? Accessories! That you equipped on to your characters. And, you know, they help you out. The more you create, the more you'll unlock down the road. That won't change until Kingdom Hearts 2 where you need to find recipes. So, right off the bat... Just checking what I got. Power shard. What do I need for this? Power shard for. Okay, one. Two, okay, cool. So, just gonna go down the list, mix them. And you wanna do this if you're going for the best weapon in the game, known as Ultimate Weapon. You're gonna have to make every synthesis item, and then you unlock Ultimate Weapon, and then you gotta go and hunt down all the Heartless for their bullshit. Right? But hey, make sure you mix them. There's no downside in doing it. I mean, you're gonna. You're gonna get those items anyways along your travel, so you might as well put them to good use, right? Come back periodically, check what you got, you know, so on and so forth. <coughs> All right, so let's see. White Fang, what can I? Oh my god, please don't tell me. Oh, none of it replaced. There's really no reason for me to replace any of those, huh? Power Chain brings my defense down. Oh, what's this? Brings my AP down to 16. What am I... What AP, How much AP do I got right now? I got two left. Well, I'm not using it, so... You know, I can have AP go down by one point. Why not? What was that? White thing? No, that was Ifrit's horn. Which one was it? Oh, it just brings my health up. I don't raise health and defense, but my defense is already up. Okay. I mean, three points is not that much of a difference in health, at least in Kingdom Hearts 1, I think. I'd rather just keep the ability points then, if that's the case. If it went up by like 10 or something, I'd be like, okay. Right? Donald, Goofy, what do you got? Donald can always use a little bit more health. But not at the cost of his defense, though. I may not have any use for any of these yet. Hmm. I mean, he increases his MP, right? 17. Hmm. Slightly raises MP. Also enhances magic and summon power. And yeah, whatever. Summon power is going to be wasted on Donald, but, you know. Strength. There's no reason for Donald to have any more strength, honestly. Magic armlet. 
No, fuck it. Start throwing magic everywhere, Donald. Go ahead. What you got, Goofy? What you rocking with out here? I don't want to... Eh, again, I really don't care about their defense too much, so... Power chain that. Obsidian ring brings it to 23. Yeah, okay, so obsidian ring. Brave warrior, anything else boost that strength for Goofy? Nope. Alright. <clears throat> also, after, uh... After each handful of worlds, you might want to come back to Traverse Town and check the item shop. Where Huey, Dewey, and Louie are fucking about. See if they got any new weapons for Donald and Goofy. Alright, you guys got anything new for these guys? Of course you do. Oh my god, you got a shit ton. Uh, Morningstar Mega Staff. Magical brimming with power, but uh, raises by one. Okay, staff. I think it's magic power, also good as a weapon. Oh, so it's like balanced, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna go for major stuff, right? Yeah. Reduce this by one. Reduce by one. Yeah, okay. How much? Oh shit, that's a lot. Oh wait, no, I got, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, that's not too much for me. Mega staff. And then Goofy. Powerful shield made for attack rather than defense. Well balanced shield for attack and defense. Large for protection. Suit for defense. All right, so we're giving you what? Gigas fist. Gigas fist. Gigas. 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 Reggie Gigas. All right. There you go. My little tormentors of destruction. Also, we got three wishes here. Increases our strength. It's a powerful weapon, but has a hard time deflecting. Who gives a shit? Put that bad boy on. It's proud mode. You're gonna get hit anyways. Only defense you need to worry about is your stat and that wonderful ability known as Arrow. Or Eroa. Or Eraga. Or whatever the fuck it's called, though. Alright. Warp drive over here. I'm trying to remember which world is which. Select world. Um, Because whatever world you choose next is not the actual world you're going to go to. And I'm trying to... I don't remember which one I actually want to, uh... I think I want to head this way first, right? In terms of gummy ship missions, if I do end up doing the gummy ship missions. I think I want to go this way first. Hopefully by next... Hopefully by next Kingdom Hearts stream, I can make it so that I have a custom gummy ship and we can fucking like blaze through these damn things. Last thing we want to do is just sit here and waste our fucking time on a goddamn gummy ship. Unless it's Kingdom Hearts 2. It's a good game. Just make a donut shit. Mash the dodge button. Nothing will ever hit you. You'll see this awesome warp hole. Don't go through it. You don't need to go through any warp holes anymore. So, don't worry about it. Just bypass that bitch. managed to miss all those ships. I feel bad about it. I was actually like, I was actually trying to aim for them. Like actually trying to hit them and I missed. There we go. There we go. I think that's it for this area, right? Should be. Should be. Should be. 
it's not? Seriously? No fucking way. No way. Is this thing a random chance? There's no way it's a random chance. No, 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 no. If it is, then... That's fucking stupid. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright. What the hell is that? Whoa, it's huge. That's what she said. It's a giant whale! Took you forever to say that, Goofy. It's Monstro! Oh my fucking god, I forgot you existed, Jiminy. He's a whale of a whale, and vicious besides. Whoa, Sora, get us out of here! Whoa, Donald, shut the fuck up. Can't you see I'm trying to drive while I'm in park? Too late, it's gonna swallow us! All mouth. No teeth. Monstro's the master at swallowing. You taking that, Monstro? I'm not sure if I should be reading these or not. How about you, motherfuckers, read for a chance? You know, for a chance, for a change. You know how many playthroughs I do when I gotta read all the damn time? It hurts my throat, man. It does. All those Phoenix Wright games are killer on my goddamn throat. Even Persona 4 was a little hard on it. Kingdom Hearts should be like the only time I shouldn't have to read that much. If I don't say anything, then we're just watching a quiet cutscene. You can quickly turn this bitch into an ASMR. Start breathing into the mic like a weirdo. What do you expect in a boring place like this? I expect voice acting. <laughs> so here's the weird part about this. I guess they just... No, never mind. Fuck it. I was going to say, I guess they just couldn't find any voice actors for children versions of the character, but that's a lie because it's super easy for them to do. It's fucking Square Enix. My bad. Squaresoft at the time this came out. And they had, they already got children actors for the main characters. You know? Because what? Haley Josman was like 14 at the time? Hey, Sora! And that cutscene's not even like an extra cutscene for doing? like Final Mix. Like that was in the original Where game. Are we anyway? Whoa. Oh, you know, I think that big old whale monstro just swallowed us. And for today's weather, expect showers. Oh, heavy showers. Ow! Who's there? It's me. It's just pistachio. 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 No, where are you going? But no. Man, I Come fucking on, love pistachio ice cream. Oh my god. There's this ice cream place near me. They make they make their own ice cream, right? And they make it every fucking morning. And that place is so underrated. <laughs> Cause most people don't go there and it sucks something they survived they survived the COVID wave they did not go under business they had enough enough business to keep them afloat but it's just one of those things where i don't hear too many people in my area talk about it at all and then when i tell them about it, they're like they're like talking about that ice cream shop and i'm like yeah that ice cream shop dude it's the best fucking ice cream shop ever they make their own fucking ice cream every morning and they got a bunch of awesome ass flavors in there. Like pumpkin flavored ice cream. I know you're looking at me weird. But hey, don't knock till you try it. That shit is delicious. Really? With this big block, you think so? It's true. 
So, how did she end up here, Pinocchio? Oh my, so the whale swallowed all of you too? My goodness. Yeah, looks like it. Geppetto, I just want to ask, why are you making Mr. little boys Geppetto, in your basement? I'm Pinocchio's father. When we got separated, I traveled all over looking for him. Thank goodness we're together again. <laughs> I traveled all so, over looking for Pinocchio when we got Pinocchio separated. Like you know, he escaped the dungeon in my basement. In my absence, Couldn't let him tell the authorities. Well, we've all had quite a journey, right, Pinocchio? Pinocchio! So, I don't, I don't get why, what the fuck? Why am I getting notifications from Steam? Let me close that. What the fuck? Let me log out of Steam real quick. What the hell? Where's the, where's the log out button? The fuck is the log out thing? Am I? Bu oh, here it is. I was bugging for a moment. Couldn't find the log out steam. Get notifications. Like every five seconds is like, it's like someone's playing VR chat, and I was like, why do I care? I'm not playing VR chat. <laughs> so why do I give a fuck? Yeah, but I don't get why Pinocchio just sees Riku and he just, he's like, oh look, a stranger, and he just runs off. Meanwhile, three perfectly fine strangers just appeared in front of him. He's like, I'm sorry, we're not interesting. Sorry you want to go after emo fuck Riku. You know, you got a clown and a duck and a dog in front of you. We're not entertaining enough? You were not entertained by this? Okay, dickhead. You know what? I'm actually... I was gonna run around and try to get those... Those chests, but I'm actually gonna come back for them. So, welcome to Monstro. I bet... If... In your first time playing this area, you got a little... Flip turned upside down. That's understandable. Monstro's kind of a piece of shit place anyways. There's not a there's not what a lot of doing? good level design Come in Kingdom Hearts one now that I think about it. You know, Geppetto's awfully worried about you. It's kind of on the nose that Stop dude's making little no boys in his game. basement and his name is fucking Geppetto. Come on, man. A little on the nose. But Sora, I thought you liked games. Or are you too cool to play them now that you have the keyblade? Riku, you're gonna like Riku? my foot up your ass in two seconds what if you don't you stop here? fucking around. Just playing with Pinocchio. You know what I mean. What about Kyrie? Did you find her? Maybe. Catch us, and maybe I'll tell you what I know. Come on. Now Riku's taking little boys. What? What the fuck, man? Riku, you acting kind of, as the kids would say, sus out here, my guy. All right. Monstros divided by chambers in his weird, weird innards. And. <sighs> Sorry, that was a mean ass yawn. Alright. And I guess it might be somewhat a little easy to get lost in here. Might be. You know, I haven't. You know, I've played this game so many times that to me it's not. I've got this whole area mapped out. And my my mind palace and my brain juice, right? So you want to jump in the chamber two. Here in chamber two, you want to roll your ass around. Come over here, chamber three. Here in chamber three, you want to go to chamber two. Here in chamber two, you want to run over here and go to chamber five. Here in chamber five, you want to run over here, go to chamber six. 
within chamber six, you're gonna jump over here, turn, and go. Chamber five? Am I bugging out right now? I might be bugging out, hold up. Yeah, no, chamber five. Here in chamber five, you're gonna fall on down and you're gonna walk over here and you're gonna go into chamber four. And congratulations, you did it. Why do you still care about that boy? He has all but deserted you for the Keyblade and his new companions, after all. I don't care about him. I was just messing with him a little. Oh, really? Of course you were. Beware the darkness in your heart. The heartless prey upon it. Mind your own business. Riku! What's the matter with you? What are you thinking? Don't you realize what you're doing? I was about to ask you the same thing, Sora. You only seem interested in running around and showing off that Keyblade these days. Riku, I literally asked you, you to come and join me. Save Kyrie? I literally I said, let's go look for Kyrie together. <laughs> Save this bad boy up. Now we're gonna go for a nice mid boss. You up for this? No problem. Let's do it. Hmm. All right. This boss is called the Parasite, if I remember correctly. And Riku's going to run around and do some shit, I guess, maybe. Sometimes he swings a sword. Other time he just kind of just does whatever. Pinocchio's going to scream like a little bitch and won't shut up. And honestly, as long as you keep swinging, you're going to deflect a good number of hits and you know that's pretty much it all you gotta do is just make sure you don't die and there you go easy peasy no problem yes this is on proud mode <laughs> it is on proud mode You learn cheer. What cheer does is it increases the summon gauge, which we still haven't summoned any. Any. Why did the music stop? What the hell was that about? We still haven't summoned any uh, characters yet. I should so I should show that off when I get the chance to. Pinocchio, Pinocchio, please. Give me back my son. Sorry, old man. I have some unfinished business with this puppet. He's no puppet. Pinocchio is my little boy. He is unusual. Not many puppets have hearts. I'm not sure. But maybe he can help someone who's lost theirs. Wait a minute. Are you talking about Kyrie? What do you care about her? I don't get your thought process, Riku. I really don't. I walked in the room and I said, Yo, Riku, did you find Kyrie? And he went, You don't care about Kyrie. And then that's what happened. All right. Once you go and, uh, I was about to say rescue Pinocchio, but you don't rescue him. Uh, Riku kidnaps him. Once Riku kidnaps him, you head to this box and you get the high jump. You want to slap that? Oh, my bad. You want to slap that bad boy on there. Never take it off. Because now, you should never have to worry about jumping on a platform ever again. It's great. Now a high jump. Have a little fun. Jump around here. Grab these chests. 
The most important one you want to grab is, I think, what is it called? The Water Stone or some bullshit? It's over here. We got a Trinity too. Uh, you know what? I'll hold off on the Trinities. I'll try and hold off because I'll just do them all at once. When we, uh, you know, do all the post game shit. What the fuck? Where am I going? Jump up here, jump up here, over here. Boom. Water Gleam! That is the summon for Dumbo, if I remember correctly. So, you want to pick that up. If there's a single chest you're not going to ignore in this area, it should be that one. Yeah! There we go. Puppies! Oh, also don't ignore the puppies. Make sure you get the puppies. Get the puppies. Always get the puppies. Alright. I'm gonna ignore these heartless and jump up here because I'm already overpowered enough. <laughs> Making the playthrough easy for myself. Hey! Let Pinocchio go, Riku! A puppet that's lost its heart to the heartless. Maybe it holds the key to helping Kairi. How about it, Sora? Let's join forces to save her. I literally offered you that the moment we met up. What? You'd rather fight me? Over a puppet that has no heart? Heart or no heart, at least he still has a conscience. Conscience? You might not hear it. But right now, it's loud and clear. And it's telling me you're on the wrong side! Then you leave me no choice. Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Jiminy, how did you get across the poisonous acid? You know what, he is a cricket, so I guess he does oh. got some mean hops. I guess I'm okay! Huh? All right, Parasite comes back for round two. Put your defense on, and then smack the shit out the Parasite. If you sit in, if you sit in the uh, acid too much, you're gonna get some poison damage your way. Now hit the Parasite on the head couple of times and it'll start opening its mouth. Both the oh my god, these motherfuckers are both down? Are you kidding me? I did not mean to heal myself, I meant to heal Donald and Goofy. Damn it. Oh yeah, I forgot, he'll spit acid on you too, if you're too far away from him. Only reason I'm healing these two is because I want to show off summon Simba! So Simba has a summon. He has an ability called Pride Roar, I think. I think that's what it's called. Don't don't question me. Or Power Roar or some bullshit. Basically, you get this nice charge meter, right? And you charge it the fuck up. And you do that. Now look at that damage it does. Kind of not worth it, right? And, you're, and you can't move that much while you're doing it. So. Damn, dog. Those two are getting fucked up. So, it's kind of not worth it. Simba is just a shitty summon. Thanks, Donald. Thanks for giving me arrow when I just fucking put it on myself. Amazing. I'm actually going to stop fucking around for a little bit and heal myself. Make sure you want to keep an eye on your health once you get that poison status on you. Oh, there we go. Defense. 
Ow. Dickhead. This is pretty much all you're doing for the fight, right? You're not really doing nothing too crazy. I might actually die here. To be honest. There you go. Oh, come on. Hit the- Stop aiming at that, Sora. Aim at the weird stomach mouth thing. Ow. Put that up. Kill myself. Be careful. Ah, oh, shit. I still got hit by that poison. Whatever. Hi, Goofy. Welcome back to the land of living. Too late already, though. I love how we're blowing up the insides of Monstro. Obtain the power of time. You learned the magic spell stop. How I learned the power of time in that situation? I don't know. I just did. So, Kyrie's like a lifeless puppet now? Precisely. And her heart was taken by the heartless, no doubt. Tell me, what can I do? There are seven maidens of the purest heart. We call them the princesses of heart. Gather them together, and a door will open to the heart of all worlds. Within lies untold wisdom. There you will surely find a way to recover Kyrie's heart. Now, I'll grant you a marvelous gift. The power to control the heart. The power to sell a bunch of tchotchkes at Hot Topic. Isn't that what you want, Riku? To make that sweet, sweet Hot Soon, Topic money? Kyrie. Soon. Now that we blew up the insides of Monstro. Gonna spit us out. Good. One more segment there, I would have, I would have got COVID or some shit. I sure hope Pinocchio and Geppetto are okay. Yep. Hopefully they landed somewhere safely, in their dinky little ship with the one gummy block that they had. Alright, back to the world select. What the hell you want, Chip and Dale? There's a tournament being held at the Coliseum. Here, there's a great reward for the winner. Why, thank you. Alright. So now Monstro's gonna hang out there for a while, so if you want to get to this world, you're gonna have to round about your ass all the way over there. Let's do it. And if I remember correctly, I think this world that we're going towards right now might be the worst world in Kingdom Hearts fucking history. Might be, if I remember, if I remember correctly. And yes, I would say worse than, than its version in Kingdom Hearts 2, the one that everyone complains about for some reason, even though it's completely optional and you don't have to play it at all to beat the game. I got some choice words for that world. Some very colorful words. I really need to update this fucking gummy ship. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna fucking be here forever in this damn thing. And I don't want to do that. I don't like the gummy ship, King Hearts One. I don't like the gummy ship in any of them besides two. Damn it. Let me see if I can get some some of the armor pickups from oh there it is. Give me some health. There you go. Little dinky gummy ship gets hit like three, four times. You're dead. 
and then you gotta do it all over again. Ow. <laughs> Just throw right into the damn thing. Like I said, gummy shit missions, not cool in Kingdom Hearts 1, but music is catchy. It will get stuck in your head, whether you like it or not. As long as I don't move, they won't hurt me. Did I make it? Did I make it to the world? Are we at the world now? Please? No? Oh my fucking god, we got more to do. Got a little bit more gummy ship to do, and that's fine. That's fine. It's definitely not the most boring part of the game. Let me just avoid you guys. I mean, if I don't shoot you, you're not gonna, you know... I can just ignore you guys, you're not gonna, you know, attack me. Unless you're feeling like a dickhead today, but, you know, it's up to you. Everyone's favorite fucking place. Welcome to Atlantica. Okay, guys, prepare for landing. I'm pressing the button. Land where? In the sea? We'll drown. Not with my magic, we won't. Just leave it to me. That's all the explanation you need. It's magic. Didn't you want to see 14 year old little boy nipples? Because I totally wanted to see that today. Flounder looked like he just been through the fucking war. Jesus. Mm, they do seem a little different. Where are you from? Uh, None of your from fucking kind of business. Far away. And we're not really used to these waters. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I see. In that case, uh, Sebastian can show you how we swim around here. Why is Donald so fucking mad? It's his magic, he did it. Easy for you to say. Okay, it's time to learn how to swim properly. Hey, doesn't matter, Sebastian. The control scheme for this area is dog shit anyways. Use the left stick to swim around, press circle and to rise and square to dive. Release them to stop rising or diving. Practice swimming with flounder. Try to tag him. Alright, begin. <laughs> This won't get boring or tired later. It will be stuck inside your head. All right. <laughs> so follow Flounder around a bit. Maybe I'm a little too harsh on the controls. It's not that bad, but still, it's not. It's not fun. Where the fuck did you go? Oh, there you are. Where'd you go, Flounder? There you are. Good job! No 
let's move on to self-defense. Sebastian! Yeah? Come on, guys. Let's fuck these jellyfish up. Uh. Oh my god, they're taking more than like two hits. Uh oh, we might got a problem here. There we go. We did it. You guys come out hiding now. Oh, wait, no, we didn't do it. Now we did it. they look so surprised about it those creatures chased us here wait wait so wait the creatures chase you here so then you decide to stop and give me swimming lessons instead of going forget the swimming lessons buddy let's get the fuck out of here <laughs> oh no those monsters might be heading to the palace too you better head back right away so you can do what run away like you just did but what if we run into more on our way back I'm sorry, but we need your help. Please come to the palace with us. The trident marker on the wall is pointed to the way. We won't get lost as long as we follow them. Okay, let's get going. I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to have Donald with me in this area. You know what? I'm, uh, maybe get Goofy out? Mm. Might not even need Ariel. Alright. Abilities. Ariel, let's see what we're working with here. Uh, Thunder Potion, Cure Potion, Spiral Wave, Arrow Potion, Haste, Lucky Strike, Second Wind, MP Rage. I'm gonna get rid of Thunder Potion because Thunder is so unreliable in this fucking game. At least in Kingdom Hearts 1 it is. And now you're gonna give me all your shit. It's okay, you're a princess, Ariel. You don't need this. Just, give, just live off your dad's money, alright? Cool. I'm also gonna save the game. Just in case, like, a power outage happens or some bullshit, right? Okay. Convenient trident placements. <laughs> exactly. I think they put that there because, you know, the play, it is pretty samey. I mean, how, how many markers can you have under the, under the sea, right? So, I'm actually going to take, like, a really quick break, because sitting in this chair is, like, fucking killing me. I'll be back in, like, a minute. A minute tops. So, you know what? what here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch the break screen, but I'm going to run an ad. I'm going to do that, and then when the ad's over, I'm just going to come on back, alright? Alright. Alright, that should have been like a minute or something, right? 
I think so, maybe. I just really need to like get up for a second and stretch because this chair is fucking killing me if I sit in it for longer than like an hour. All right. <clears throat> so, back to more Atlantica bullshit. I also want to make sure that I got what I need, right? So, here's my gripe about Atlantica, right? There are so many times, if you ask anybody what's the worst level in Kingdom Hearts, they will bitch and whine and say it's Atlantica and Kingdom Hearts 2. Because it's a bunch of minigame music bullshit. And that they don't like that and they don't want to see that ever again. I like to remind everybody about Atlantica and Kingdom Hearts 1. Yes, you get to fight in Atlantica. You get to fight with shitty swimming controls in which every ability that you learned thus far in the game is completely fucking obsolete because you get it replaced with this 1-2-3 hit combo that sucks ass. Doesn't do that much damage really to be honest. And half the time you're gonna swing and miss because you have no type of ability to get you in closer to the enemy like sliding dash or vortex or whatever the fuck those moves are called, right? You can use your magic, but I mean, that's highly inefficient. So for the most part, you're just gonna swim around and ignore the goddamn enemies. Not only that, but the boss fights in Atlantica are some of the most tedious shit that I've ever played in Kingdom Hearts history. We'll bitch about it when we get when we get there, right? Not only that, but for a good portion of the area, maybe not a good portion of the area, but like for some portions, you're gonna have to fucking grab onto a magical dolphin to swim you past some rapids or whatever. Guess what? You can't grab onto the dolphin when there's enemies on the screen, so you're gonna have to fight the fucking dumbass enemies. It is so annoying, so not worth it bunch of bullshit to do. Meanwhile, in Kingdom Hearts 2, you can just ignore Atlantica because it's completely optional and you do not need to do it to beat the game. The only reason you need to do Atlantica in Kingdom Hearts 2 is to get Ultimate Weapon. And that's it. So, I ask you, which one is really the worst one? The one that you can just fucking ignore, or the one that you're forced to play while being handicapped. On top of that, Under the Sea is a good song, but it's not a good overworld theme. I don't need that song stuck in my head more than listening to it once. You can actually ignore this one to be fair, don't you have to do the keyhole bullshit in this one? You still gotta clear the keyhole in here. You can ignore the keyhole in Hercules' place. You don't gotta do the keyhole here? At all? Really? You can do Halloween Town and Neverland. I thought I thought Olympus Coliseum was the only one you could ignore. The world is also designed for you to, like, get up and leave in the middle of the world and come back, too, in Kingdom Hearts 1. I mean, they do that in Kingdom Hearts 2, right? Because you need, like, bullshit to continue the concert or whatever. But this one is, like, if you go straight to fight, like, the final boss in the area, you're gonna have kind of a difficult time if you're playing the game normally. You are not to leave the palace. Is that clear? This world's completely optional. You think it's either Halloween Town or Atlantica, but not sure. I know both of them have keyhole. Both of them. It's weird because both Atlantica and Halloween Town, you can just get up and walk out when the final boss shows up. But I mean, doing the final part of, like, of, uh, Halloween Town isn't that bad. On top of that, you don't have to deal with, with them taking away all your goddamn abilities. 
Just as you suspected, Your Majesty, they seem to be coming from Earth's last But I mean, even if they're both optional, right? So let's put them together, compare them. If they're both optional and you can ignore them, I mean, that's great, right? But now they both have the benefit of being optional. If we're still going to compare the two, I still think Kingdom Hearts is worse because it handicaps the ever living shit out of you. Like, the whole battle system doesn't work in Atlantica and Kingdom Hearts 1. That's why they didn't do it in Kingdom Hearts 2. And instead, they made you play as a lion. <laughs> and that was awesome! 100%. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I got, listen, I don't have to do 100%, but I'm doing it. <laughs> Come to my grotto. I want to show you something. There it is, see? Hi, magical dolphin, I love you. Ow. Oh my god. You motherfuckers hit me, like, really hard. I think I'm at the point where, where my grinding has got me as far as I could. As far as I could. As far as it could. Because I grinded all the way to, like, level 33. But now motherfuckers are hitting me, like, really hard. You know what? Look, actually, you know what? Fuck Atlantica. Let's just peace out. Ow, motherfucker! God damn, that shit hurt. Let's just peace out from Atlantica, right? Let's head to our grotto for like two seconds. Peace out from Atlantica, and let's see if we can just, you know, deal with Halloween Town first. Look at all the wonderful things Flounder and I have collected. I think it's all from the outside world. Someday, I want to go see what's out there. Oh. You don't want to go up there, Ariel. It's bad. <laughs> I want to see other worlds. Does that sound strange? No, not at all. I used to feel the same way. That's why we made a raft and tucked like a coconut in some fish and said we're gonna go for the stars. Used to? I mean, I still do just came back later when you one shot everything i mean i've to be fair i've been one shot and everything throughout this whole entire playthrough because i grinded all the way to like level 20 what 23 at destiny island before <laughs> like between the goddamn streams so when we got to traverse town i was just fucking things up this is the first world where i where i'm not fucking things up and i can really feel it Hey, why don't you try looking for the keyhole you were talking about? But your father said... Ah, he treats me like a little girl. Maybe because I'm a crazy whack job that wants to go up to the surface and marry a prince that doesn't even fucking know I exist. He never wants to let me do anything. He... He just doesn't understand me. I love how, like, Sora doesn't rebuttal with that or anything. He's just kind of... He's like, yep, I guess... Mega Potion, isn't there a torn page in here? Cottage, I think there's like one more chest in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Torn page! Yay! Alright. Yeah, let's head to Halloween Town. Sora's one, none of that shit. <laughs> Fucking Ariel just goes, my daddy doesn't understand me. And he's like, you got fucking father issues. I'm out of here, man. I fucking love... God damn it, I hate that camera angle. I love Ursula's voice actor so much. I love it when voice actors love what they're doing. It's amazing. It's the best feeling in the world. You want to know what doesn't feel good? Playing Xenoblade 2 and the main character Rex, just he's scared to fucking scream into the microphone. The fight scenes are happening and he's just going, I ya, I ya, I ya. And I'm like, Rex, shut the fuck up. You're so annoying, and you look like shit. 
I hate that character design so much. Oh my fucking god. It looks so bad. That's your main character. It looks like a fucking hot plate of just of just pure fucking trash. All right. To the gummy ship. To the land of Hop Topic we go. Don't worry, all we gotta do is this boring ass fucking gummy ship bullshit. Don't worry, by the next stream I'll make sure to get like what I forgot which block it is. I think it's haste or something. You just slap that shit on it. Oh wait, no, it's just a bunch of engines, right? Let me not get hit by these ships so I don't fucking have to do this all over again. Let's not do that, okay? How about we just don't? I think about it, Sora wants none of Ariel and her fucking daddy issues, but she's definitely like, Yo, Kyrie! <laughs> He's definitely like, Yo, Kyrie, what's up? I'll deal with those issues all day. Oh my god, fuck it. I love how over the years I went from, Yeah, Sora, save Kyrie, to like me going, Man, fuck Kyrie, who cares? You're worthless. Engine and HG, yeah, okay. Which fucking... Alright, so which... Which gummy shit mission was it that Monstro fucks up? Which world was it? Is it Atlantica's or is it Halloween Towns? Because there's one... I think it's a gummy shit mission where it's like, you gotta get... You gotta go between two worlds by accumulating a certain amount of points, and if Monstro's in the way, you're fucked, because the other way is like... The other route... That you would go if Monstro wasn't in the way? A oh, holy sh fucking shit, man. I can't believe that just happened. God damn it. Oh, wait. Can I just warp drive from Monstro to... Wouldn't this be faster? Yeah, this would be way faster. <laughs> you gotta watch the whole thing. You gotta watch him spit me out and everything. But this is gonna be way faster. Continuing for Monstro. Never did the missions? I did them twice on two different accounts. I Platinum Kingdom Hearts. I Platinum Kingdom Hearts 1 two times, and I Platinum Kingdom Hearts 2 two times. And the reason for that is because I did it on one account that I was using at the time, right? But then I switched main accounts, and then I went, oh fuck, I gotta get these Platinums again. I don't have to, but I wanted to, because I had them and I was proud of it. Maybe proud's the wrong word, but I had it, right? So I was like, well, I gotta do it again. And now, since the PS4 version is different than the PS3 versions of the game, those trophies don't carry over, so now you gotta fucking do it all over again. <laughs> oh! Motherfuckers. Mmm! Since when did the gummy ship become such a pain in the ass? Did they change it in Final Mix? Because in like the original game, I don't remember getting my ass handed to me in the gummy ship at all. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Don't stop moving. Oh my god, these motherfuckers. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Don't stop. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Alright. Alright, hold up. We gotta go into the garage now. You, no, fuck you. Do your fucking tutorial. Gummy ship, dog. Change the ship. My bad, not change the shit. Garage. No, fuck. Yeah, isn't it garage? You just start off the blueprint? Oh, here it is. Which one is the health blocks? These are the health blocks. Let's see, reduces damage from attack by a bit, reduces damage, where's the health? Reduces damage, reduces damage, slightly improved. Okay, hold up. I'm just gonna slap on some, doesn't matter where you go, just slap it on there. Doesn't matter. It's the garage, yay, fucking. I wish I could just donut ship it, right? Like Kingdom Hearts 2, oh my god. 
to just make a donut ship and be done with it. Get to the elevation and just... Fuck, I hate the control scheme for this goddamn thing. Boom, boom, boom. Got that boom, boom, pow. There we go, just build a wall. You know? Become Trump for a day. Fucking save it! Yeah, override Excalibur? Uh-huh. You're damn right. There we go. Just actually build it. We'll do that later. I'll do that off screen. Now I won't die in one hit. I'll die in two hits. It's like Dark Souls. Kingdom Hearts 1 is truly the Dark Souls of, of Kingdom Hearts games. Oh! Fuck! Where you going? Where you going? Which direction? Ah! Uh! Stay over there! Stay over there! Come on, get that. Eh, eh. Come on, grab it. Grab it. Oh, come on, Sora. What the fuck, man? This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Pumpkin scream in the dead of night. This is Halloween. Everybody make a scene. Trick or treat. Now, buy or shit at Hot Topic. Sure is a spooky place. I bet there are people that are scary looking too. Goofy? That's racist. Don't worry, we look spooky too. That's even more racist, Donald. If they scare us, we'll scare them right back. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it. If they scare us, we'll scare them right back. You think so? Yeah, sure, why not? Thanks for the follow. It's Edu. Edu? That's how you pronounce that? Thank you. Alright, first things first. Save my game, because I don't want to fucking go through that gummy ship again. I fucking hate it. Jesus Christ. Alright. What level am I? 35? 35. Yeah, 35. Donald's 33. Oh, man. They must have legalized weed here, because they fucking smoke it. Oh, now they definitely legalized weed, because the fucking Heartless is chillin' chillin', you know what I'm talking about? Goofy kind of just scared the shit out of me when he jumped <laughs> when he jumped in front of the screen like that. And now, allow me to introduce the master of terror, the king of nightmares, Jack Skellington! I love you, Jack. You're my favorite. I love you, Danny Elfman. You guys seen him at Coachella recently? I think it was Coachella. Recently, he was like super buff. And you're like, holy shit, Danny Elfman. Why you look like that, my guy? Thank you. Thank you. But their movement still needs work. It's not scary enough. I want to strike bone-chilling terror. I'm going to consult the doctor. Jack Skeleton. This man just wants to give out heart attacks and like it's fucking go candy. Attend to the decorations. So, no matter how many times I will make fun of Hot Topic and the basic, basic bitches of the world, right? I fucking love Nightmare Before Christmas. And with that said, I know that movie is completely fucking dumb and stupid. <laughs> Still didn't stop me from getting it on fucking Blu-ray and getting it on 4K. Understand. What's up? Maybe the guidance system was damaged in the explosion. 
nonsense. My devices are always perfect. Oh, I've got it. Why, of course. The heartless need a heart. And now, two plus two is do you four. Think we can add a heart to that device. Certainly, a heart's not all that complicated. Ah, let's get to work. To make a heart, first take. A this is the perfect time to. You just put it out there. Uh, don't forget that on my YouTube channel, I recently did a playthrough of of the Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie's Revenge. That playthrough is complete. You can totally go watch it if you want. But I fucked up towards the end of the playthrough because the audio got fucked up towards the last couple of parts, so the game's kind of pretty loud on those parts. But the rest of the playthrough is pretty fine. That game was made by Capcom, by the way. It feels like a fucking Devil May Cry clone. You really want to go unlock it for them? Why not? If they succeed, you won't have to fight the Heartless. What the fuck is that noise I'm hearing? Like some squeaky noise I'm hearing, like someone's fucking around with something. Besides, I want to see the Heartless dance too. Don't you? Not really. My, that was amazing. Everyone hail to the pumpkin uh, song. Exactly you right. Are... Sora. Well done, Sora. I'd like you to be a part of this year's Halloween. What's this Heartless doing here? Oh, the Heartless came to town just recently. What's frustrating is I can't get them to dance with me. So, the doctor and I are trying to improve the guidance system. I think it might be like an owl or some shit outside my window okay, or something doctor, making like that fucky-ass noise. Ingredients for a heart. Pulse. Emotion. Terror. Fear. Hope and despair. <laughs> Hope and despair is just a copy of Danganronpa. <laughs> just sitting there by that hot topic now. We didn't get we didn't get Nightmare Before Christmas and fucking Kingdom Hearts 3. That still pisses me off. Got Monsters Inc. Maybe we're missing some ingredients. But we didn't get fucking Nightmare Before Christmas. God damn it. We didn't get that we didn't get Agraba. But we sure as fuck got Olympus Coliseum again. Sally's got the memory we need. See if you can track her down. That's even a more better fucking no better problem. make better Zora, make Kingdom Hearts for like good man. Sure. It's probably not going to to be honest, but you know. Again, that motherfucker keeps trying to make versus thirteen every chance he gets. All right, there's really no reason for me to get rid of Donald there. I just felt like it. Jack, what do you got for me, buddy? Let's see. Chair, jackpot, MP rage, ghostly scream, bolts of sorrow, ice terror. So Jack, before Donald, has a uh, tier two magic. Right? Yeah. He gets gravity. Ghostly scream. Bolts of sorrow, thundara, and shit like that. Uh, and okay, well you don't really need treasure magnet, Jack. You tall ass motherfucker. You just tall drink of water, that guy. Got a lot of shit, Goofy. Here you go, man. Cheer. I don't need cheer at all. Customize, Blizzara, Arrow, Cure. Where do I get Cure from? Which which world do I get that from? I know where I get Kyuraga from. You gotta talk to Arrow three times, which is the most dumbest shit. To unlock a fuck. I mean, I get it, right? It's Aerith, but Jesus. All right. Actually, I keep forgetting to customize the third party member all the time. Uh, I mean, you can do whatever the fuck you want, Jack, really. Oh, by the way, items. I'm just gonna steal your shit. It's okay, Jack. You're the pumpkin king. You're basically rich. You don't need this. You got money to your name. You're fine. Oh, also. 
Boom, torn page. Before I forget that. Jack! Jack! We have a major crisis! The hotness are completely out of control! Like we airheads! They're out of control! Kids won't get that reference nowadays. Hmm, maybe our experiment triggered something. I feel so Everything old. Everything will be fine, Mayor. You have nothing to worry about. Go through the fucking door, Sora. Jesus. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, damn. You just cracked the shit out of him. <laughs> I didn't even get to pull my keyblade out. You just beat his ass. All right. All right, let's show up the second summon. Genie, I don't remember what you do in this game. I think you just shoot shit randomly, right? I'm just waiting until we get the one summon. That one summon that kind of breaks the game a little bit. You all know the summon I'm talking about. The best summon in the game. All right. Uh, how the fuck? Genie. Showtime. There you go. Oh my god, Genie. Ow! Thanks a lot, Genie. You helped, but... Eh, whatever, I guess. <laughs> Not completely bad. It does, Genie does do good magic damage, but like, you know, he doesn't hang around too long. Even if you got cheer, right? Okay, so what the hell am I doing? I'm looking for Sally. Oh, I completely went the wrong way. God damn it. I love how people will go, Oh my god, Sally and Jack, they were totally made for each other. Um, they're so, so great together. Meanwhile, you watch that movie and Jack only talks to Sally like a total of three times. <laughs> and two of those times, he doesn't even acknowledge her? <laughs> Jack, I came here to warn you. Yeah, 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 make my costume, bitch. And the first time he acknowledges her, they don't even talk. He just opens the bottle, the little butterfly comes out, and then she just disappears. And he's like, oh, okay. And then you get to the end of the movie, he's all like, I get it now. Sally, you were meant to be with me. <laughs> it's like, what? Let's check this place, too, once the Heartless are out of the way. But despite all that, I still love Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, man. It is a stupid movie. It's almost like making a movie out of one little poem wouldn't really give you enough to work with. It's almost like if you take one book and split it into four different movies, or three different movies, then, uh, then you won't have a lot to go off with. I'm looking at you, Hobbit. I'm looking at you, Bilbo Swaggins. Come on, sir. How the hell you missed that? Missed the second hit. Flanky motherfuckers. It might just be the keyblade. It might just be the keyblade itself making me miss all these fucking hits, because three wishes is pretty short. There he is, the man of the hour, Zero. Now that I said that, I gotta look over at my dog to make sure he didn't get up. You sit down. Yes, my dog's name is Zero. No, everything's going great. We're going to have the best Halloween ever. All we need now. If you're a follower on my channel, you can get emotes. And he's one of the emotes. Check that out. Forget me not. I have a bad feeling about this. Why don't you try something else? There's still time. Sally, why don't you try minding your own business? Beat what I've got planned. Once we give the Heartless a heart, they'll dance just as I envisioned it. Trust me, you're going to love I love you, Sally. You're cute. You're adorable. I love you. I still haven't watched The Corpse Bride, by the way. Always recommend it to me. People are like, if you like Nightmare Before Christmas, watch Corpse Bride. I was like, I'll do it one day. Still haven't done it. It's been like years. Is that coming? Isn't that coming on Netflix or something? 
something happened recently where it's like the Corpse Bride is coming to something streaming or something like that. I think it was that first. Did you hear that? Yeah, I sure did. A uh, heart. What should we do? Gosh, you really are stupid. Isn't it obvious? Tell Oogie Boogie. <laughs> <laughs> Is one of the voice actors from the Rugrats? It sounds like Dylan Lil, right? Is that their names? Dill and Lil? No, it's not Dill. Uh, Dill is fucking Tommy's little brother. Phil and Lil? Or something like that? The twins? Here you go, Dr. Ficklestein. The scientist is a creepy man. He put his brain in a... He made a he made a creation and he put his other brain in it and he started fucking his own brain. It was weird. It was weird at the end of that movie. He's basically fucking himself. <laughs> yes, this is it. Now just one more ingredient. We need surprise to contain the heart. A contain? To complete the heart. The mayor should know where it is. Bonehead Jack is really making a heart. <laughs> I'll be jiggered. That works for me. Ooh, when I get my hands on that. Well, I've got no hands, but I'm still. <laughs> well, I got no hands. I got these nubs. <laughs> <laughs> Again, love when voice actors love their jobs. How can you not have fun being Oogie? How can you not have fun being any of these fucking villains, really? Hades, Captain Hook, Oogie, Ursula, Clayton. <laughs> uh. Oh shit, I'm getting raided. Thank you. Thank you very much. Katakuna? That's how you pronounce that? I hope so. Thanks for the raid. <laughs> Greatly appreciate it. Oh, raided. How many? 16 people? Thank you. Thank you for the follow as well. I appreciate it. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die. Oh! Jesus. I did get it right. Thank you. Guess I should introduce myself. Hello! I am Firestorm. I play video games. I like video games. I have a YouTube channel where I do some playthroughs that I don't stream. And then my streams go up on the YouTube channel. We recently finished, uh, whatchamacallit? I'm gonna fucking die! Holy shit! <laughs> Jack, help me out here, man! Use those big ass hands you got, those big meaty claws, so just fuck them up. But, um, we recently finished Persona 4 Golden here on the Twitch channel, and I'm gonna upload that stuff to YouTube recently. The link to YouTube is right there on the screen. And currently on YouTube, I'm doing a Pokemon marathon, just completed Pokemon Red and Blue. And I kind of fucked up in my scheduling for that marathon, so right now I'm talking to one of the artists that I commissioned for... That's pretty much handling most of the artwork for the Pokemon stuff. And, um... I gotta get them to do some artwork for both Hey You Pikachu and Pokemon Snap. And yes, I do have Hey You Pikachu on the N64. I have my copy sitting right next to me. Same thing with Pokemon Snap. But I'll probably play that off the virtual console, or maybe just emulate it. Persona 4 Golden is so good. Oh, trust me. We're playing Kingdom Hearts right now, because after that, uh, I put up a poll to ask people what they want me to stream after this. So we're doing Kingdom Hearts, proud mode, 100%, right? The proud mode, 100% was my idea, though. They, they didn't ask for that. They just asked for Kingdom Hearts. Ghost rides from the tombstones. Check the tombstones in the order of the ghosts they appear. If you get it wrong, you're a bitch. All right. You didn't even warn me, ma'am. You just said, you didn't even say go. You are just like, just don't get it wrong. I think it was this one. Fuck! Ghost rise from the tomb. Okay, hold up. Okay, the one in front of me. The one in front of me. 
one next to me all right all right I, I, okay i get it wrong one time and now you think i fucking need help thanks <laughs> love my overlay uh said that i get a commit oh the overlays i do myself the overlays i do myself unless it's unless it's artwork from someone then i'll definitely say it's artwork from someone but this one i did my most of my overlays i did myself same thing with persona 4 golden um but like thumbnails and stuff and like um for example i have a be right back thing uh i'll put it up for like a quick second There you go. That animation is, uh, that's made by Volta Base. And I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to overstep my bounds, but I, I like to think me and Volta Base are buddies because sometimes we exchange emails back and forth, right? We're talking about Persona and crazy shit and like game announcements. I've been trying to get in contact with that dude like, like for the past week, but he's so fucking busy all the goddamn time. I definitely remember when he was telling me, maybe a little too much information, but when he was like, man, I'm getting my fucking toilet bowl, uh, my, my bathroom fucking fixed up right now, it was a pain in the ass. <laughs> and I'm like, Jesus. Well, that was some surprise, eh? It was, it was. Thank you for the surprise, you bastard. Yeah, but that's made by Volta Base. You guys may know Volta Base from more popular things than me. <laughs> he, um... Uh, Last time I checked in on him, well, besides this week, um, last time I checked in on him, he did artwork for Jonathan Young for, like, one of the albums he was putting out last year, I want to say, or maybe the beginning of this year? Beginning of this year, I think, right? I think that's what he did. I'm not sure, but Volta Base did that. Amazing job. Love the dude. Love working with him. He also did, um... He also did my, uh... My, uh, what you call it? Fuck, why can't I speak right now? <laughs> he also did, um, my, uh, my thank you for watching thing and, like, my YouTube banner and, uh, my YouTube picture profile. I think it, that's what it is. He did those three. He also did, there's, um, artwork I have for him that I haven't used yet. One of them is a thumbnail for Devil May Cry 5, which I haven't done yet. So that's going to be up on the YouTube channels when I when I get ready to do that. But yeah, love Volta. It's great. Um but yeah, back to the YouTube shit. Fucking doing Pokémon Marathon trying to get that settled and once that's done cuz I already have artwork for like Pokémon Crystal and fucking and uh Emerald and I'm going to get, you know, I'm I'm doing the whole doing a lot of Pokemon games. I got all the Ranger games and shit. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> and I do it all for very little gain. Because <laughs> I suck at advertising my shit. <laughs> yes, this is it. There you go. Yes, it's a pulsating heart. Mm, it looks delicious. But yeah, that's pretty much me. That's me in a nutshell. Other than that, I, I play Final Fantasy XIV on my spare time, probably. Sometimes, maybe. I haven't played Final Fantasy XIV, though, since, like, the last major update. The nerve of those little hooligans stealing my work. Oh, well, gotta get it back. Gotta, you know, do what their parents won't. Beat their ass. It's all good. We just love what we do, no matter what we get out of it. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. It just a part of it sucks explaining it to people because it's like, oh, you stream, especially people I know. It's like, oh, you stream. Why don't you tell me what it is? And I'm like, well, it's kind of embarrassing if I fucking show it to you. And you're like, what? Only two people are here, and they're both bots. <laughs> Some nights are bad. Some nights are worse than others. Other nights are great. This night, I would say it's a great night. Uh, one of the, I would say one of the best playthroughs I probably did on this channel was, uh, Phoenix Wright. I did, uh, the whole entire trilogy of the Ace Attorney collection. And once we're done with Kingdom Hearts, I'm gonna return back to, uh, whatchamacallit. 
to the great uh, great Ace Attorney Chronicles and finish the first game in that series because I stopped in the middle of that to like finish up Persona because there was no fucking way I was just gonna stream uh, stream both of those back to back. Like do it one day and do it the other day because my schedule is so for streaming my schedule is fucked honestly. I stream late at night and on top of that like it's only like two times out the week. <laughs> So like doing one day of, of Phoenix Wright, I keep calling it Phoenix Wright, it's not Phoenix Wright, it's fucking the great Ace Attorney because you're not playing as Phoenix Wright, but doing one day of that and then going over to Persona 4 Golden is like, like too much man, because <laughs> one game I know a lot of which is Persona and the other one I, I'm playing for the first time which is fucking Phoenix, uh, fuck, I keep saying it, damn it. Which is great, Ace Attorney, right? God, but if you want, oh man, I can't talk about Phoenix Wright without thinking about three. Uh, after playing, after playing Phoenix Wright three, it's like, can anything beat that? You know, I'm gonna play like the whole series though. At some point, we're gonna make it through the whole series. But right now, we're just doing the great Ace Attorney. I'm also gonna end up doing a, it's called Miles Investigations or whatever it's called. So yeah. Just download the original Ace Attorney games onto the 3DS because they were all on Super Sale. Oh. The, uh, the, the DS only one, like the 3DS only ones or the collection? Cause I got, I got, um, I got the original three trilogy, that collection on PlayStation. Because that was on sale. And then for Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, I got that on the Switch. I wanted to get it on PlayStation, but for some reason... <coughs> when I was out buying it, I was... For some reason, I was at a fucking GameStop. And, I, and they were... They were uh, advertising it for Black Friday. And I went in there and I said, I would like a copy of this, please, and a bunch of other games. And they're like... They're like, uh, that game doesn't exist on the PS4. And I'm like, then why the... Fuck are you advertising it on your gut like it's literally on the poster right on your store. <laughs> like, as I walk up to the store, it's on the poster and you're telling me it doesn't exist. Okay, buddy. But but I was like, fine, I'll get the Switch version, and then oh my god, it was so annoying. I hate fucking buying shit from GameStop. And then I left for like two minutes while I was in the car, I looked in the bag and I went, I got all the games that I that I bought besides Ace Attorney. The one that I'm gonna end up streaming. So I went back in there, handed them the receipt, and I said, I don't got Ace Attorney, man. What, what the fuck happened? <laughs> and then within like the two minutes of me leaving the store, the guy who bagged it left and went home. And then they had to, first of all, they had to put me to the side because they had to get the manager, right? But the manager was busy helping out two people that don't know jack shit about anything and I gotta sit there and listen to them talk for like fucking 30 minutes so that the manager can call the guy who went home to be like hey do you remember putting it in the bag and he's like well I remember him buying it I don't know if I put it in the bag it's like well did you put it in the bag or not oh, I don't know and hearing that exchange for like another 10 minutes and then having them look at me roll their eyes and go do you still want the game? Like, no, I sat here for an hour because I didn't want the game. Yeah, I want the fucking game. Well, this is our last copy we have. Do you still want? Yes. Yes, I do. Who cares if it's your last copy you have? Your job is to sell the shit. Give it to me. What? Like, incompetent bastards. <laughs> like, for real. Like, I know you hate your job. Don't make, don't take it out on me, man. And it's like, my guy, I don't know, I don't know why they try to like size me up and be like, are you just trying to get a free game? It's like, it's on the receipt. I paid for it. Not only did I pay for this, I paid for like 10 other games, dog. I deadass just sat there and spent like over 300 bucks. Why the fuck would I swindle you out of something that I can get for like 15? God damn it. It's like I literally, like, 
at the same time, I bought Shin Megami Tensei 5, so, you know, that and, like, the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes. So it's like, come on, jackasses. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die in this area, because I'm getting my ass handed to me. I'm gonna have to... Next save point I find, I'm gonna put Donald on the team. I might get rid of Goofy. Put Donald on the team. Oh my god. Just get hit, damn it! I love how Jack just like smacking the shit out of him with his hands. What the fuck? What was that, Jack? What did you just do? Start doing the chicken dance. Yep, but GameStop is fantastic. No wonder why they're going out of business. <laughs> Bunch of incompetent fools. That and like half of GameStop isn't even games anymore. It's like really depressing when you walk in there. Fuck. Super tired, so you're gonna bounce, but you'll leave alert. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by, and thank you for the raid again. I greatly appreciate it. I'm surprised that I haven't passed out yet, because I've been awake all day. Maybe it's that coffee candy I had at the beginning of the stream. But yeah, thank you. Make sure you get your rest. That's important. To function as a human being. In society. Oh, I can't open the chest. I forgot. Fuck, I'm in the middle of the fight. Ow! Oh my god. I'm... Jesus. I'm... I finally came to the point where all the grinding I've done is not gonna help me. <laughs> There's actual... <laughs> There's actual threat of being dead here now. I'm dying. I actually have something to fear now. Flare G. What am I? I'm still level 30. What the fuck? Okay, well, I'm about to level up. Well, let's get from down here because I don't want to walk through the pathway and, like, pop out the, the fountain and, like, have to walk my ass all the way back here. That would be really sad. Oh my god, I hate you, motherfucker. Stop jumping all over the place! Look at Goofy, spinning around. Twirling about. Oh my god, there's still fucking enemies? Stop. Alright, alright, I'm scared that I'm gonna... I'm scared that I'm gonna lose some progress. Of levels that I got? Oh shit, of course I fall like an idiot. Great. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna peek my head through the through the gate and run on back. So not all is lost. So if I get a game over, I at least get to keep the experience. I knew Oogie Boogie was behind this. All right. Where's the? Oh fuck! The nearest save point is all the way up there. Jesus. Keep him busy, guys. Oh, I can't interact with the fucking door. Oh shit! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall fighting this motherfucker. Oh my god. I hate fighting in this area, because the risk of falling just make, makes it so difficult and nerve-wracking. It's like, what if Mario had to combo his way through his levels? That'd be kind of sweet, though, really. Mario just... character action Mario game? Doing Double May Cry combos? Wow, who went off the enemies? Featuring Chris Pratt?
That's great to know I can do it, Jack. That's great. Why don't you help out? Thank you. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. Aerial sweep! It's a godsend. Give me that shit. Put that on. Right now. Ether. Don't aim there. Oh, fuck. See, now I got aerial sweep, and I got that one level up. I'm more competent. See ya. Grab it. Come back down. Come on. The faster we get done with Kingdom Hearts 1, the quicker we can get to Kingdom Hearts 2. That's your saving grace. I'm just going to ignore all of you right now. It's not really worth it. I'm up here only to walk into some children's room and beat their ass like a parent. I, I had nowhere to go with that joke. I lost I lost track of that joke. Like a parent that's something something. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. Out of the way, bitches. Ow! That shit hurt. I love without saying anything. They just turn to look at you and they just start beating your ass. They just turn to look at you. They go, you came to the wrong neighborhood today, motherfucker. Goddamn. I should actually be fighting, uh, what's her name? Shock. Ow. She's the one that spins around and shit, right? Doing what Jack should have done in the movies. Just grab the children and start beating their ass. <laughs> Alright, stop! He said he surrendered. Shit! <laughs> She's beating him up. We're just following orders. Oogie Boogie told us to steal the heart. It's all Beryl's fault. It was his idea to tell Oogie about the heart. Yeah, that's right. Fuck that guy. But you guys said you should be ashamed. Beryl's just kind of an unfortunate dude because he takes the mask off and that that's just his face. <laughs> that's just his face. Beryl, how many times I gotta tell you take the mask off at the dinner table? But mom, that's how I look. <laughs> like, oof. Like, at least the other two look somewhat different. So make sure you flick that switch. You head your beautiful tuckus on downstairs. Like this. Boom. Stairs are overrated. They're for losers. For the weak. The feeble-minded. Oogie Boogie, get me back the heart. Yes, I want it very well, then much. Come on over and get it. Okay, we'll just have it right. Th oh, all right. Mm, that's unnecessary. <laughs> now, let's see if I can get their attention. Oh, hello. You want to know my favorite voice line in Kingdom Hearts ever? It's Oogie when you're fighting him, and he says the one voice line over and over again. And he goes, Oh, baby. <laughs> hey, IG. How's it going? Hope you're having a lovely night or day or, or midday or dawn. Whatever time of day. Or maybe you just live in outer space. And you don't know what time it is. As you just drift throughout the vacuum. <laughs> it's going good. Where the fuck? All right, Oogie, where are you? You got to make sure you trap him. And he'll start trying to bop and weave you, jackass. <laughs> Ow! Motherfucker hit me with the ring hand. Get up there, so What the- Oh my fucking god. Get up there! 
You know what? I deserve you to laugh at me, okay? Oh, there's the voice line. He said it. Oh, oh, baby. <laughs> Alright, so here on the Oogie fight, he's going to summon some Heartless. Not too big of a deal. The main thing you gotta worry about is his, his booby traps. Where the fuck? Where do you go? Oh, you're over there. Gotcha. Gotta worry about his booby traps, and if, uh... Fuck! <laughs> Damn! I try to get up there, and I'm getting, getting the backhand. I didn't even get one hit on him. I didn't even get one hit on him. Fucking Jack and Goofy did all the goddamn work. Yeah, but if he, uh, get- ah, fuck. If the dice rolls on a certain number, he can heal himself. And that's annoying to deal with. Oh, the other ghost is still here? There you go. Damn it! I hate you. I hate you, Oogie. I'll hit you one of these days. And when you fuck it up like I did, it's time for the shooting range. Come on. Ow. Been actually waiting to play Kingdom Hearts again? Oh fuck, here's... Shit. <laughs> I, uh, I was making like a, a point to play at least if not both Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, at least Kingdom Hearts 2, like, once a year. Not like by- not like sitting there and looking at all the cutscenes, but just like speeding through the game just to get the feel for it again, because, I mean, come the fuck on, it, they're good. They're good games, they feel good to play. Right? I'm pretty sure everyone has, like, that one game that they play yearly. Right? Make sure I roll under this. Boom. Like, for some people, they go back and they play, like, one of the Pokemon games. That motherfucker was getting ready to bitch slap me, so... Uh, thought of playing it with the Riku mod. Which one? Kingdom Hearts 1? Or two, because I remember, I remember early days of YouTube. Everyone just going like, "Here's my Kingdom Hearts 2 mod: of Riku and and Mickey and Axel fighting, fighting Roxas and <laughs> fighting Roxas and Ansem all at once." What, what am I waiting on? Oh, he's ah, fuck, son of a bitch, he's healing himself. Oh, Kingdom Hearts one. Just replay Kingdom Hearts three with a bunch of mods. It was pretty nice. Anything besides the base game, and it's fucking pretty nice. <laughs> fucking hate Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh my god, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. To like, I hate it to abnormal lengths. I, I'm completely okay with saying that my hate for Kingdom Hearts 3 is unreasonable. But Jesus, fuck. <laughs> Just talk about a big fuck up, man. Like even I don't, like even I didn't feel that bad about Recoded because Recoded was like just a random DS game that no one gives two shits about. You play the entirety of Recoded just to hear, just to hear Mickey go, maybe we can bring them back to life, and it's like, oh, okay. That's like the only reason to play Recoded. Recoded has like this awesome battle system, but it doesn't even fucking matter because half the game is just mini games. And then at that age, Sora killed his first victim. So, that heart was a failure after all. I mean, you don't know, it's still there. 
You can still pick it up and use it, I guess. The heart wasn't meant for Oogie. Kingdom Hearts 3 story was definitely a letdown. The Disney worlds weren't even needed. Oh my fucking god. That's what happens when you let the writers of Kingdom Hearts 3, when you let the story get written by a bunch of Kingdom Hearts YouTuber conspiracy theorists. Do you think Sora's the embodiment of Kingdom Hearts because he wears a keychain with a crown on it? Whoa. Literally, you can go back and look at whatever fucking Kingdom Hearts YouTuber video and everything they say just happens in Kingdom Hearts 3 and I'm just sitting there shaking my head going, going Tetsu no more. Are you even trying, my guy? <laughs> like, what are you doing? He's like, no, I don't care anymore. I just want to make Versus 13. That's why Riku looks like Noctis. That's why we put, that's why we put a fucking thir Versus 13 character in the game and then we made a shot for shot remake of the goddamn trailer. And now Sora looks like Noctis, and f God damn it! <laughs> Look, it's brimming with the power of darkness. Oogie Boogie is drawn, is drawing power from those dark gloves. I think the final straw snap with that is when uh, Yoshi P went like, "Yo, I'm making Final Fantasy 16. This shit looks nice, right? Right, Tetsuya Nomura? I'm not gonna get kicked off of my project." <laughs> And then Tetsuya Nomura snapped, and he's like, all right, now it's Kingdom Hearts 4, fuck it. I'm making this game one way or another. So we just have to destroy those things, right? I mean, he's trying the story for Union X. It was actually really good. Uh, Union X was the updated for Kingdom Hearts Key. It was like the whole war and shit. I feel like if I'm remember, if I'm rem eh, I can't even say the word. If I'm remembering correctly for Union X, that's the one where they finally gave, like, certain characters that had no meaning, meaning. I don't know. I don't... Mm, mm, I don't mm. On one hand, you're right. On the other hand, I'm thinking of the one character who's a time traveler now. <laughs> it's like, oh, you didn't think this character was important already? They're triple important because they're a time traveler and they lost all their memories and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, all right. And this character that everyone kept saying, like, maybe they're important because in the manga, they talk about how their past life sucked. Now they have importance because they are the sister of some bullshit character. Oh, and this character that we kind of forgot about and then brought back in 3, this character right here, that character is one of the new Keyblade Masters. Did you know that? Did you know did you, did you know that? It's like some aspects I'm like, yeah, it's nice, and then other aspects I'm like, oh, you're just trying to make more characters more relevant than they actually should be. Like I don't want to say the name because it might be spoilers for people who don't know, but just saying there's a character that that they touch on before two and then forget about until three and then and then suddenly now that character was a new Keyblade Master and what the fuck? Like it was such a Keyblade Master, then why the fuck I beat his ass so many times? <laughs> right. They're important in some way. They are important. I'm not saying they're not important, but I feel like he's just he's like, well I got these characters that I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna go into specifics of it because I don't wanna say something that might spoil it for someone, right? But like you have other characters that are part of a certain group. And they all have an importance and a role to play, except for a handful of those characters that don't have any importance whatsoever. And then for years, people are like, what do these characters actually do? Are they actually important? And then those characters come up in three again, and then fucking, uh... And then you're like, okay, they're here, but are they just here to be bad guys again? Right? And then you play Unchained Key or whatever. Not Unchained Key, that's the movie, right? You play um, Union X, and it's like, oh, now these characters are super important because 
did you know? Because they hung out with this other character, too. They're all time travelers. <laughs> Each and every one of them. And then, uh, and then you have the one stupid moment that I hate where two characters out of nowhere just go, Are you talking about her? And then, for those who didn't play the mobile game, they'll sit there, and even for some who did play the mobile game, they'll sit there and go, Who the fuck is- what are they talking about? This was never brought up before. <laughs> and you go, are these two talking about this one character that shows up for like two seconds? Like, Jesus. Talking about what happened in Chain of Memories? I'm talking about one of the characters from Chain of Memories that get, <laughs> that you deal with, then they get forgotten about until three. And then, you know, in Union X, it's like, oh, did you know that, that they are one of the new, they're one of the new inheritors to the fucking Keyblade Master bullshit. Keepers of the book or whatever the fuck. I forgot what it's called. And then there's another character from Birth by Sleep. <laughs> who is like, uh, fuck. Not only that, you're already important to the main plot and how convoluted it is. Now you used to be a fucking Keyblade Master. <laughs> Can you get up there, Sora, please? I'm having a fucking meltdown right now. Where the hell is the fuck? Am I? Hold up, get down, Sora. Where the fuck is the other one? I'm sitting here talking about Kingdom Hearts bullshit. Uh, she was also in Kingdom Hearts 3 Secret Reports. That's true. That is true. But how many people read the Secret Reports? <laughs> Only, like, the people who really care, care, right, will read the secret reports, and maybe, like, once. Oh, here it is. Is this the last one? Boom! We did it! People who are investing in lore, yeah. Lore itself is convoluted as fuck, man. I'm not... I'm not saying, like, well... I don't want to say that it doesn't make sense. I'm not trying to say that the lore doesn't make sense, even though sometimes it doesn't make sense. Because let's face it, it's Kingdom Hearts. But I'm just saying that there are characters who don't need to be that important, and I feel like he's just using them because he's like, well, I gotta have them do something now. People are expecting these characters to be important instead of just making a new character. It's the Goku problem, right? Where it's like, my bad, not the Goku problem, it's the Naruto problem. Where it's like, Naruto! Instead of just being the main character who does things with your, you know, with training properly and whatever, you're, you're the son of the fourth Hokage, and you're the inheritor of all this other bullshit, and you got the nine tails, and here's a bunch of shit. You're so important! Next time, we'll do it together. Right. Someone who played the game such and kept up with it isn't something that that's fine difficult to understand, but explaining it to someone else can be rough. Oh yeah, it's fucking annoying as hell. Trust me, I fucking How many consoles did I buy to play each game that came out and shit? Played the mobile game and all this other dumb shit. The only Kingdom Hearts game that I didn't play is uh what's call it? A melody of memory or whatever, and that's because I'm not paying sixty dollars for a bunch of acid reused bullshit. It's like put that game. I'm not paying sixty dollars for that. It's not happening. I guess we have no choice. We have to cancel the the Heartless Halloween Town Festival for now. Here, I want you to have this. Tame Pumpkinhead. Awesome. Visit us anytime, Sora. Next year, Halloween will be the scariest ever. Emotional, uh, emotional. Emotion, memory. We put it all in the necessary, we put, I can't even fucking read no more. We put in all the necessary ingredients. What else do you need to make a heart? What is a heart anyways? I can't figure it out. All right. I was supposed to switch in for Donald, but I guess not. Oh, I'm 38, nice. Do you get memory of uh, memory of melodies? Melody of memory? I forgot what the fuck it's called. The Kyrie game. You didn't get it, but you want the relevant story bits on YouTube. 
Yeah, fuck. In my, like... I was about to say my experience. What the fuck? That sounds really stupid to say it like that. Um, the way I usually do it is, like... I If I'm gonna get the story for shit, I'm gonna play the game myself. Because sometimes when people... I'm not saying all the time, but, you know, sometimes people leave some shit out out of videos and stuff by accident. Right? And on top of that, it's like... <sighs> I want a fucking reason to get invested into watching a cutscene. I want to. I want to earn it and f actually sit down and watch it. If I'm gonna watch a movie, I'm just gonna watch a fucking movie. <laughs> but like, I don't know. I'll wait. I'll wait to buy it. I can't. I don't think I can sit down and just watch cutscenes for something unless something is like super arbitrary, right? Like the Kingdom Hearts mobile game. That's kind of a little crazy, right? Sometimes you just gotta go like, all right, where's all the fucking cuts in here? But memory of melody or whatever, I can I can go through a couple of shitty uh, shitty uh, what call it songs. It's not that many cutscenes, really. You know what? I don't expect it to be that many cutscenes either. How much? Like what? Forty minutes in total? I would assume. Got me shit. I think my magic is as good as Donald's now. No way, not in a million years. Why don't you go see Merlin and work on some more of that magic? I should go see Merlin. So I can actually, uh, whatchamacallit. Hand in those stones for those summons. The most lead up is, uh, <coughs> sorry. Had to clear my throat. The most leading up to it is just Kyrie narrating, retelling the story, and summarizing it. Are there any retcons in it? <laughs> that sounds like a perfect opportunity to retcon shit before people start getting into Kingdom Hearts 4. Oh, I can make Angel Bangle and Golem Chain. The only new cutscenes are at the very end of the game. Oh, I don't mean new cutscenes. I mean, like... I, w I wouldn't say there's, like... I, I, how the fuck would you even retcon Kingdom Hearts? Huh. How would that work? Yeah, I don't mean, like, adding new cutscenes, like... <clears throat> like, to add on to the story. I mean, like, instead of, uh... For example, uh, I'm not saying this happened, but for example, instead of him going like, Oh, Sora got whisked away to Traverse Town because of the storm or whatever on his island, they went, Oh, what actually happened is that uh, fucking Mickey caught him in the middle of the storm and transported him to safety. Or some bullshit, right? Like, that's what I mean by retcon. Inferno, Bangle, where's the golem? I made the golem chain, right? Yeah, I did. Really? Are none of these better? Okay, hold up. That brings my AP down by one. That's fine. What's my AP right now? Yeah, I got two left, which I can do without. And what is that, White Fang? No, that's not White Fang. That's Ifrit. Oh yeah, that brings me up by like, that brings me up by a good amount, and defense increase, okay. And then this is just strength by two. I don't need those extra two points. Oh, and I got a pumpkin head. Bam, has long reach and the ability to deal a string of critical blows. I see no downside to it, it doesn't have any, any like bad deflection or anything, it's just good overall. She doesn't really retcon, uh... From what you remember, but mainly went to watch the new story stuff. Okay. <clears throat> I can imagine one thing she retconned. And then Sora got jumped by a bunch of Heartless, and then I went to save him, and I did not, I did not swing that Keyblade like a loser. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 2. She's like, it's time for me to save Sora, and she's just flailing the fucking Keyblade about, and I'm like, Riku, take that shit away from her before she hurts herself. Please? <laughs> <laughs> Please, or before she hurts me. 
Man, all I'm asking for, for Kingdom Hearts, I don't even care about how fucky they'd go with the story anymore. I just want you to make another game like Kingdom Hearts 2, but better. That's just what it is. It ain't that hard. And stop fucking wasting time on the gummy ship stuff, man. We don't need it. 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 Remember when they announced, like, and we worked really hard on the gummy ship stuff for Kingdom Hearts 3, and I'm like, not that many people give a fuck about the gummy ship stuff. If they want to play a pilot game, go play fucking Ace Combat. The one thing still left unexplained is where Riku got the Keyblade to give to Kairi. Oh, uh, out of his ass. Oh wait, no, here's a retcon. Yeah, I talked about it fucking earlier in Kingdom Hearts 1. When, uh, when fucking Leon's sitting there talking- Squall, Leon, whatever. When he's talking to fucking Sora and he's like, the Keyblade chooses its master. And I'm like, no the fuck it doesn't, you liars! Cause Birth by Sleep retconned the shit out of that! Keyblade doesn't choose its master! <laughs> what? Since when? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Bullshit, man. They lied. They lied to me. They lied to you. Like, that's a super retcon they did. It's like, yeah, uh, Keyblade chooses his master. And you're the chosen hero, Sora. Fucking shut up. <laughs> shut up. Oh, man. Stupid. Um... How long have I been going for? Three hours? Did I start my stream? I think I started my stream a little late tonight. Where the fuck is my phone? All right. Um, you know what? What level am I actually? All right, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm probably gonna end the stream off for now because it is it is getting about that time. And, um... Also, I think that'll be a good opportunity. I think this is a good stopping point so that I can, like, run around and, like, grind off stream and, you know, make it easy. Thank you for the follow, IG. I appreciate it. Um... So... Yeah, I think that's a good stopping point. Maybe get some stuff for the, uh, gummy ship stuff like that so the next session can go a little bit more smoothly right i'm pretty sure i'm i'm definitely sure we'll get hmm what worlds we got left i mean i still i mean it's a hundred percent but in terms of the actual main story you know we might need to do atlantica still not sure if that's 100 percent optional i'm actually trying to see if it is and if it is then that's kind of cool but we're still gonna end up doing it anyways so we have atlantica neverland and then Bastion and then you go back. Okay. So like what? Four more four more things to do for the main story? So maybe next stream I'll be able to finish the main story and then after that after that I'll probably end it off and then do some more grinding and then come back to do all the other post game shit. Um Yeah, I think I think that should be good. I think like maybe three more streams should be enough to like wrap up Kingdom Hearts. And then after that, I'll continue on with more uh, Great Ace Attorney. Left off, left off getting started for the trial in the third, in the third episode of that game, defending the Japanese man. I think that's what it was. Um, yeah, I think that's the game plan for now. So there's that over at YouTube. Currently, I am starting a, a vampire playthrough. Vampire, vampire, uh, the one. The game is just called Vampire with the fucking Y. It's the one made by Dona Entertainment. The one where you play as Dr. Jonathan Reed and you fucking... It's like a... It's kind of like... The gameplay is a little bit like a Souls-like or whatever, but you basically go around as a doctor and, you know, you fucking... Trying to find out who turns you into a vampire and shit along the way, healing the sick people or feeding off of them if you feel like it. You know, it's very, like, narrative heavy, heavy and stuff like that. Um, so there's that and there's the Pokemon... Again, the Pokemon Marathon. Uh, the Pokemon Red and Blue playthrough is done, so if you want to watch that, that's done in, in its entirety. Well, actually, that's a lie. I got a bonus episode to do for, like, catching the legendaries and stuff like that. But for the most part, it's uh, the main playthrough is done. And that's it. That's the plan for the YouTubes right now. That and, like, uploading the Persona 4 
golden streams and all whatever other streams I gotta upload uh, an archive so that's the YouTube plan right there the link is on the screen if you uh if you like me on Twitch leave a follow I would greatly appreciate it if you really like me and you want me to and you want me to get to a point of streaming more than two times a week then for the first time ever I'm actually fucking I'm actually telling people to subscribe if they want on Twitch if they want to spend money but get the tier one though don't don't go crazy don't don't go crazy don't don't do that <laughs> I'm not at a point where I can start doing crazy shit like that get the tier one um, if you're gonna do that uh oh yeah and if you're on YouTube just comment on the video and like it that helps with the algorithm shit because YouTube's a pain in the ass and they're annoying so that's what they love that's what they want either that or like you're making a face in the thumbnail like you're surprised or something surprise Pikachu face so that's pretty much the plan for that also my Twitter's on screen if you want to follow me on Twitter on Twitter I uh, basically just put out an update that's like hey I'm getting ready to stream and blah 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 just like kind of a reminder uh, sometimes I upload um you know I upload like the YouTube video like hey this is out for anyone who gives a damn and then other than that on Twitter I just kinda just tweet shit kinda just tweet shit really some days I'm more active than others but eh, I I'm trying to be more active on Twitter so. it's mostly me replying to things though <laughs> So there's that. Oh, and also, if by any chance anyone ever wants to make any fan art of like a moment from a fucking, um, like a playthrough or something, you can send it over at the Twitter, right? Or you can just directly message me at Twitter. That's open. The direct messages are open. And then I will take that fan art, credit it you, and put it on the, put it on the stream when the stream starts, if you care about that. So, that's pretty much the plan for me. That's it. I think I got everything I want to say out the way. And yeah. So, as always, I want to thank you guys who came and watched live. Uh, have a good stream. <laughs> uh, have a good stream. Why the hell did I say that? Uh, have a good one, man. See you around next time, hopefully. Oh, yeah, there's the, there's the schedule on the Twitch. Again, it's just two nights. Like, a week right now. Like, really late at night. If you live in the U.S., it's late at night. If you don't live in the U.S., it's probably, like, early in the morning for you, or maybe in the middle of the day or something. I don't know. Um, yeah. So, for those who came and watched live, thank you very much. I do enjoy talking with people while I do this. It helps me, helps me, uh, stay on my toes, right? And, uh, yeah. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> I forgot my outro. I forgot it as I was saying it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And take care. I'm a chef, chef too.